Welcome to Lovington and Hobbs Softball on Lovington Sports YouTube, Hobbs Sports YouTube, and HobbsAmerica.com. I'm Dawn Morgan along with TJ Miracle. We're at Wildcat Field. The Lovington ladies are the home team this afternoon for this one game against Hobbs. And Hobbs has beaten Lovington this season, their, their first and, uh, and last, and now this will be their only meeting, their second and their uh, last meeting. They won 6-3. Hobbs uh, won 6-3 in the Black Gold Tournament just a couple of weeks ago and uh, but Lovington was uh, very tough that final score in that game was six to three so we're here we're calling both games um, and but Lovington is home so that's why everything is listed as Lovington first because they're hosting here at Wildcat Field and uh, the home plate umps are at home plate actually and the girls are out getting ready to be introduced and for the national anthem so we'll uh, we'll go ahead and I'll, I'll turn it over to you I'm still uh, I'm still filling out part of my book TJ and we can talk just a little bit about uh, about these two teams coming in this one. Of course, Hob Lovington is coming in off of a win on Tuesday night. We called that one here uh, at Wildcat Field against Lovington, uh, against Roswell, and it was a 10 to nothing route, and Lovington uh, did very well. They had 10 runs on 11 hits, uh, 10 hits rather. They left six on base. They had three errors, so they, uh, they had a few errors, but it didn't cost them against Roswell. Not a, a strong enough team to challenge them or make them, you know, pay for those errors, but they uh, did a pretty good job at the plate. They hit throughout steadily throughout the game. They put uh, scores on the board in the second, third, and uh, uh, second, third, and fifth innings and before they were able to run rule and force a, a, an early end to that game, TJ. Well, they certainly did, and uh, a, good, uh, a good performance for Lovington. Coach Stephen McCraw is back for today in taking on the Hobbs Lady Eagles. Both of these teams are rated number three in their respective divisions in the Land of Enchantment, Lovington in Class 4A, Hobbs in Class 5A, Lovington. <coughs> is six and one, Hobbs is five and one. Now Hobbs will have another game tomorrow against Lubbock Cooper Liberty at one o'clock from the Veterans Memorial Complex. We will have that game on HobbsAmerica.com and the Hobbs Sports YouTube channel. So Hobbs under first year head coach Mark, or Marco's his dad, Anthony Boyle. Marco, the longtime baseball coach in Hobbs. But so Anthony Boyle taking over the program from longtime head coach Dean Crossland and so far has his girls off to a five and one start, including a black gold tournament slugfest tournament championship where they knocked off Lovington as you mentioned six to three and then won the title against Artesia who is the number one team in class 4A so this is going to be a good test actually I think for both of these teams yes they know each other they've seen each other but a lot changes in you know two three weeks from the last time they played as they continue to introduce the teams, Hobbs will be in the road black unis with the gold pinstripes and the white letters and numbers. The Lovington Lady Cats are wearing the home white unis, the all whites with the blue letters and numbers as they introduce the starting lineups. Right, and uh, we'll go with those uh, down these really quick for you as for your host Lovington ladies, number two, Anahi Quiroga is your catcher. Number 15, Sabri Sanchez playing second base. 17, Sabri Rodriguez playing right field. Six is Emery Ellis playing center field. 13 is Angelina Corral at third base. Five is Layla Hernandez playing shortstop. Nine is Jocelyn Nogin at first base. 21 is Bailey Garcia in left field. Number 11 is Daphne Urahara in the circle. Your um, reserve players are number four, Honey Morales. 12, Braylon Hernandez. 16, Yaya Garcia. 19, Andrea Hernandez. 23, Johanna Garcia. And 17, Jabri Rios. We'll take a break for the national anthem and be back to give you your hob starting lineup and get this game going. Attention shoppers, Bob's Thriftway welcomes you to Lovington, New Mexico. This week you'll save big on grocery items throughout their store. Save big on produce, household items, bread products, and meats. Every week, Bob's Thriftway has big savings for their customers. Bob's Thriftway is your local hometown grocery store. So for the freshest produce, the best meats, shop Bob's Thriftway, 906 West Avenue D in Lovington. Eunice Pump and Supply has been around for over 30 years and is excited to continue their services to the community. They take pride in their employees and their hard work and dedication, and most importantly, take pride in the youth of Lee County. Eunice Pump and Supply is a proud supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. 
Eunice Pump and Supply, 1310 Avenue O in Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County Athletics. When it comes to your hard-earned money, selecting the right bank is vital. Hi, I'm David Campbell, president of First American Bank in Lovington. First American Bank in Lovington is part of this community. So bank with trusted partners you know, and trusted partners that are part of this area we call home. First American Bank offers all the advantages big corporate banks do, and we do our banking with hometown support and commitment. Choose First American Bank, 19 West Washington in Lovington. We want to earn your trust, then earn your business. And welcome back to Lovington and Hobbs Softball on Lovington Sports YouTube, Hobbs Sports YouTube, and HobbsAmerica.com. I'm Don Morgan with DJ Miracle, and uh, we are just about getting ready to get this one underway. A Lee County battle these teams have met previously just a couple of weeks ago. Hobbs got the better of Lovington, but Lovington played them very tough. In fact, Hobbs came from behind in that game. Lovington uh, got out. And uh, they, it was it was two to nothing for a while. Lovington came back, tied it up, and then Hobbs did not win that game until um, the uh, uh, top of the seventh inning, or the top of the in the bottom of the sixth inning. That is, Hobbs came back and scored two two more in that. So it was a very tight game, very uh, interesting, and uh, a well played game on both sides. Uh, both teams were really playing nice defensive game. And it was just a matter of uh, timely hitting. Uh, Hobbs was able to, uh, Lovington turned a double play in that game, and I believe Hobbs did as well. So this game, we come in, and of course, Hobbs, the visiting team, will come up to the bat first. Number 13, Kaya Boyle, will lead things off, playing second base. Number eight, Marissa Young, playing third base, is uh, batting in second slot. Number one, Edith Chavez in center, batting third. Number 16, Carissa Garcia at first base is batting fourth, clean up. Fifth is uh, number nine, Allison Garcia in left field. And 20 is Anaya Rodriguez, the designated player. We'll finish that out in just a moment, getting ready for the first pitch here. Udahara is your starting pitcher in the circle for Lovington. And the first pitch is in, and it's just a little outside for ball number one. So I want to know the count. Nice pop in the glove, though. Udahara was not the starting pitcher when Lovington fell. Uh, Udahara was the starting pitcher, and Savory Sanchez came in relief in that game. And the second pitch is called strike one over the outside corner at the top of the zone. One and one, the count. Ready for the second pitch against Kaya Boyle, leadoff batter. Ooh, and that is going to just miss as uh, the ump took a long time looking at that. Kiroga kind of tried to frame that up, pull it back in a little bit more over the plate, but the ump didn't go for that. So two to one is, your, uh, is the count. Two and one the count, and that's going to come in, and that's going to be just a little high. Lovington, not faithful, not happy. They thought that that was maybe at the letters. There was a uh, Udahara took a little speed off of that. It came in right over the center of the plate, but just a little too high. Three and one. Boyle is uh, known for work and walks, but she can smack that ball as well. Ooh, that's going to hit the outside corner. Beautiful pitch. A lot of fire in that pitch as Udahara looking pretty strong so far at the beginning of this game. Full count, though, on Boyle. Boyle's looking to get on base any way she can. That is going to miss just outside, so Boyle takes a walk. She's very speedy, and Hobbs can be aggressive on the base pass. Udahara so. is your pitcher. Kidoga in the ring. You've got Olguin, Sanchez, Hernandez, and Corral around the infield first to third. Garcia, Ellis, and Rodriguez left to right in the outfield, and the outfield is very deep as these Hobbs Lady Eagles do have a tendency to put a little juice in the bat. Coming up second is number eight, Marissa Young, your third baseman, and... No outs, one on. That is going to miss the outside corner. Ball one. So want to know the count. We'll boil on first. No outs. Here we are at the very beginning of this game, top of the first. And Chavez awaits on deck. Garcia in the hole. Number 10, Candace Harrison at shortstop bats in the seventh slot. Batting eighth is number six, Ilea Treviso, your right fielder. And that pitch comes in. It does catch the outside corner. Good pitch. Young looks at that, kind of flinched a little bit, but did not offer. So it is uh, no outs, and your count is now one and one on this batter, Young. A swing and a miss. A good cut at it for strike two. And now... Udahara out in front of Young a bit, but uh, she, again, she's a hitter. 
Hobbs has had no trouble getting on base against opponents uh, this year, except uh, there have been only, I think, really one or two games that I've seen that they, they it took a little while for their bats to get on fire for them to figure out some pitching for uh, against a couple of teams. Uh, once they did, though, they had no trouble getting hits and getting on base. Sometimes they've had trouble having timely hitting, getting them around and in for runs. A swing and a foul back to the screen. Count remains. Uh, two and two. It's evened up now. Chavez on deck, Garcia in the hole. Uh, finishing out that batting order, it is uh, batting in the ninth slot, number 15, Alexis Martinez, your catcher for Hobbs. And number 12, Amaya Chavarria is your flex player. She's in the circle, the starting pitcher for Hobbs. Your reserve players, number four, Abby Zambrano, two, Jesse Ojeda, and five, Jackie Fuentes. And that ball comes in high and outside for ball three. That's going to run the count full. Three and two now with no outs, one runner on. Lovington trying to be efficient, working on trying to get outs before they give up runs. That is going to miss just high and outside. So that is walk number two issued. Puts runners at first and second. Number one, Ida Chavez, your center fielder for Hobbs, now coming up to the plate, a right-handed batter. Udahata trying to work the top of the zone and is just been a little bit off through the first two batters and I think Kidoka going out there to just kind of tell her what she's seeing and what the ump is calling and probably telling her we're going to have to move it down just a little bit. And move it just a little inside. Uh, so far the ump is, is calling the corners very strictly nothing wrong with that. It's just uh, being consistent. If you know to what to expect as a hitter and as a pitcher then we're all okay. That is a beautiful pitch, and it's going to be a ball. Wow. Okay. Just high. So he indicated just a little high. high so. Yeah. So that's again, uh, he's he's got a, all umps have a, a strike zone, and some are more generous, some are very strict, and as long as it's consistent, again, don't have to worry about it. But as a pitcher, that's a call strike one on the outside corner. A nice breaking ball there from Udahara. I think she's going to have better a better chance of working the corners than working it up and down. It, that looks like the ump's uh, strike zone is a little more strict up and down. A swing and a grounder over to the shortstop. Layla Hernandez scoops it up, fires it over, tosses it to second, and Lovington tries to work the double play, does not get the speedy Chavez in time. So she get, she reaches on a fielder's choice. Marissa Young is called out 6-4 to four, uh, for the first out, and Boyle moves over to third. So runners at the corners for Hobbs. Brings up the cleanup hitter, number 16, Carissa Garcia, your first baseman. And there's one out and two on here in the top of the first. Look for Hobbs to do whatever they need to to cash in Boyle from over at third. They have an out to give, so a, a sack, whatever. Although, you know, Garcia is a hit away. Uh, she's in the cleanup spot for a reason. She's got a lot of power. She can smack it over the fence. Uh, she's capable of, you know, of uh, a, a double that, that might clean off the, the bases except for her. Uh, score one or two runs if, if she can uh, get the long ball. But, of course, Udahara is going to want to try to keep her from doing that. And that's going to stay high. So two balls and no strikes. Two and oh. With good speed over at first from Chavez, even a single, I think, probably scores her. Yeah. Outfield is playing very deep. The infield still looking maybe for a double play. I, I'm a little surprised Hernandez is playing quite as deep out at shortstop. Yeah, and Sanchez is back at second as well. That's going to catch the outside corner. Nice fast ball that had a little late breaking action on that from Udahada for call. Strike one, two and one the count. Again, one out, renders at the corners for Hobbs. No score yet. Lovington would like to keep it that way. Hobbs wants to get on the board. There's a swing and a foul off into the screen, off to the right for strike number two as uh, Garcia showing that power that she is famous for. She just decided a little late to snap that bat around and therefore fouled it off to the screen. But, wow, that the, that was a, a pretty good fast pitch by Urahara and... That pitch comes in a little low and outside. He's going to miss and run the count full now. Three and two, the count on Garcia. One out, runners at the corners. Uh, Allison Garcia on deck and Naya Rodriguez. Actually, You're Chavez stole second. So. Right, now she's on over there. Thank you very much. I looked down to catch my book up, miss the steal. A swing and a miss. I thought maybe she foul tipped it, but she missed for a strikeout. So one of the big hitters for Hobbs goes down swinging. First, a strikeout for Udahara, and second out. That was a big one, and now 
Lovington just needs one more out, but Hobbs would like to get a two-out rally going with number nine, Allison Garcia, the left fielder, up to the plate. If they uh, get, if it lasts that long, they've got Rodriguez, designated player. There's a ground ball that's going to get by Sanchez, and that's going to score one. That's going to score two. So it's uh, and I. Do you? Did she get a glove on it? I think she got, she got a glove down, on it. So I think so, we're yeah. going to have to put an E4 on that because I think that was a stoppable ball for sure. So an E4 is going to score Boyle from third. It's going to score Chavez from second. Hobbs is on the board 2-0. They did, as I was just saying, they wanted to get a two-out rally going, and they did bring those runs in. And interesting to note, they do have uh, – Sabri Sanchez playing at second. Honey Morales is uh, not starting. Honey, normally the starting second baseman. I noticed that when I when I put the book together. But last season, uh, I was going to bring that up and talk about that later. Last season, Honey Morales kind of shared that position with another player who who graduated this last year. So she wasn't uh, last year. She wasn't starting every game in that position. There's a long fly ball out to left field. Garcia comes up under it, catches it, and makes the grab and hangs on to it for out number three. So uh, Naya Rodriguez, the designated player, gave it a ride, but a fly out to position seven ends the at-bat for Hobbs. Not before they put two runs across. They do that on no hits. There was a walk, a fielder's choice, a strikeout, an E4, and a fly out. So two runs on no hits and one error, and there were there was one left on base. So we're going to go to the bottom of the first. Lovington has a chance to get their bats rolling. We'll be back with more Lovington Hobbs softball on Lovington Sports YouTube, Hobbs Sports YouTube, and HobbsAmerica.com. Introducing a smarter, easier way to manage your Lee County Electric account. It is called Smart. Now you can pay your bill anywhere, anytime, with 24-hour access to your account. It is free and simple to use. Just search for the Smart Hub app on your cell phone or device and download the free app or go to our website at lcecnet.com and look for the Smart Hub logo to view your account or pay your bill online. Managing your Lee County Electric account conveniently and securely with Smart Hub. Lee County Electric, owned by those we serve. Western States Insurance. Why choose Western States Insurance as your independent insurance agent? Because Western States Insurance is more than an insurance agency. They're a people agency dedicated to the insurance needs of their customers. Western States Insurance is large enough to provide the product you demand and small enough to offer you personal service. We've got you covered. Western States Insurance. Call 396-1318 or go by 212 North Love in Lovington. The Hobbs Lady Eagles strike twice. They get two runs, no hits, one error committed by Lovington, and one runner left on base. After a half inning, it is Hobbs to Lovington coming to bat. And with the call, Don Morgan. Thank you very much. And uh, it is Quiroga, leadoff hitter for Lovington coming up to the plate. On deck is Sabri Sanchez and Zabri Rodriguez is in the hole for Lovington. There are two runs down. They need to catch up. In uh, the game that uh, they played against Hobbs previously, Lovington did not score until that fourth inning. Took them a little while to figure out Chavarria. Chavarria ended up striking out six in that game, walking one. But... Oh, a solid hit is going to bounce. A hard hit ball bounces by uh, Harrison at shortstop and is going to put Quiroga on. Quiroga stepped up and hit the first pitch she saw, and it's a single. Puts her on first base. She is a catcher who runs for herself. Often catchers and pitchers will have the courtesy runner. Uh, Quiroga is pretty speedy on on the bases. So it is going to be important for, I think, Lovington to get on Chavaria. She's good, especially if she gets deeper into counts, but sometimes she tends to kind of hang them a little bit early in the count. Chavaria is going to catch the outside corner with that one, yes. So a, a mid-speed pitch for her. So an 0-1 count on Sabri Sanchez. I was going to say, uh, since since Lovington played Hobbs, you know, I don't think they're intimidated. They, uh, they batted through a couple of times. Uh, there's a an almost bunt. Sanchez showed, and now a throw down to second, and they're going to call her out. They're going to call that uh, was a good throw that got Quiroga trying to advance to second. Yeah, so, and that was wow. just a mistake as Quiroga came off of first and just hesitated and then was like, oh, well, I guess I'll, I'll just go. And no real challenge there from Martinez to gun her down to Harrison, who was just waiting to slap the tag down. So a base running mistake. Two to six in the books for the first down. That's tough after Quiroga had such a, a good 
a good hit to get on base. A swing and a cut and a foul back for Sanchez. So now the ball, the count is one and two on her. She uh, showed bunt. She didn't lay the the bunt down all the way to put a good screen down, and that was what the, the if you showing could check bunt. the scoreboard, Dawn, I'm hearing from a couple of people we're having bug problems. I'm, I'm just telling you what I'm hearing. Okay, yeah, I'm showing you that it's fine. I'm, I'm showing you that it's fine. So I'm just I've telling got, you what I'm hearing from the station. Okay, two to nothing is what it's showing. I've so heard maybe it, there I've was just a, now, okay. So. Maybe there's just a delay, but there's it's you can you can see. So two and two the count now. And a swing and a miss. So Sanchez goes down swinging for out number two. And with nobody on the base, uh, because uh, Quiroga got thrown out at second now, Sabri Rodriguez comes up trying to get something going for her team. She's playing right field. And comes up for her first plate appearance, batting in the third slot, followed by Zimri Ellis. And then Cor Angelina Corral in the hole if if they last that long. And Lovington certainly wants to last that long, get something going. That's going to come in low for ball one, one and oh. So two outs now, one and oh is the count. And two to nothing is your score. Hobbs leading as they put two runs across in their first at bat here. A swing and a foul ball out of play off toward the tennis court says uh, a good cut by Sabri Rodriguez just swinging a tad late just a little bit late on that so one and one the count now on Ray Rodriguez swing and a foul straight back over the uh, announcer's booth here for strike two so and a good cut there just getting a little bit under that fastball and popping it straight back and up and over our heads Chavaria getting set on a pitcher's count, one and two. Oh, and that's going to miss outside. I think she deliberately was heading for the outside. In fact, uh, Martinez behind the plate was shading over with her glove, indicating, yeah, try to throw it to the corner. I think they were just trying to see if Rodriguez would chase that and go down swinging. She's got another shot at it since it's two and two. Two outs, nobody on here in the bottom of the first inning. And a little bit of a change up, a little difference in the uh, in the yeah, motion a bit of a for hitch in the motion there. Well, and, and it may be deliberate um, with her change up. She may be doing more of a whip pitch instead of a windmill on that. I don't know. Might have been uh, accidental. And that's going to miss outside for ball four as Chavaria had her. Well, it'll be and very important to keep an eye on Chavaria if she does have that kind of whip. In, in, in a changeup, that can be a huge tell because sure. they'll see that and then can adjust their timing accordingly. And it may have just been a little momentary glitch in the, in the, in the motion for Chavaria. So number six, Zimri Ellis up to the plate, center fielder for Lovington. First pitch is going to be low for ball one, so one and oh the count. And since that little hitch, Chavaria has not thrown a strike. Lovington. Now trying to get the two-out rally going for themselves. Ooh, a, a hot grounder smoked down the third base line, but unfortunately for Lovington, it went foul. Well, and right now Lovington's shaking their head going, oh, if only we hadn't mm -hmm. lost that uh, that runner right. that we got on with the single for Kidoga. They'd have just one out and runners at least at first and second here. And, and maybe, right, and maybe first and third or second and third, so... As it is, they've got a runner on first and a shot at scoring before they get sh th thrown out. Um, two and one now the count as that was low and outside for ball two. Corral on deck now and Leila Hernandez in the hole for Lovington. As Chavarria's in the circle, Martinez is behind the plate. That's your battery. That's a beautiful pitch uh, right on the outside corner. So one and two, and we're back to a, uh, two and two, rather. We're even. As uh, Garcia is on first, Boyle on second, Harrison at, at short, Young at third. And this pitch is going to come in again a little low and inside, and that seems to be where Ellis likes him. That's twice now that she's been waiting on that pitch and smoked it down the third base line. So your uh, count remains two and two. And Chavez is out in center and Treviso in right for Hobbs. 
That's going to miss low and outside, and that's going to get away, uh, away from Martinez and allow uh, Rodriguez to make it to second. That's a pass ball. I don't think that was that's a wild a pitch. Ball. It's a pass ball in my book because uh, the catcher stopped it. It wasn't particularly – it was a little low, but it was uh, across the plate. She just lost her handle on it. Sometimes you're looking up to check the runner before you have good contact with the ball in your glove as a catcher, and it just gets away from you. And there's another ball pulled completely over to uh, toward the dugout for Hobbs. So two and two still the count as hanging tough at the bat is Ellis with two outs and a runner in scoring position at second now. She's feeling the pressure and wanting to uh, definitely try to get her teammate around the bases and in. She yeah, saw and for Hobbs, also you can't really worry about the runner. You've got to worry more about the, the girl at the plate. Now you've got a full count. First one, second one worked in a row here by Lovington. Ellis is, is capable of hitting the long ball for sure for Lovington. A little off-speed pitch right down the middle as Chavarria took just a little heat off of that and gave Ellis a very hittable ball, but she just stood and watched that. So a strikeout number two and out number three, four up, three down for Lovington. They threaten but come up empty, and we'll be back with the top of the second inning. Hobbs leading this one two to nothing. More Lovington and Hobbs softball coming up on Lovington Sports YouTube, Hobbs Sports YouTube, and HobbsAmerica.com. Devon Energy is proud to support the athletic programs of Lovington High School this season. By partnering with local schools in Lovington, Devon is making an investment in the long-term future of the community. Sports teach discipline, teamwork, and leadership. Skills our youth will use to succeed for a lifetime. From the Devon team to yours, Devon Energy wishes you good luck this season, both on the field and in the classroom. Go Wildcats! It's no secret, at some point you'll have a question or need to replace or fix something on your vehicle. Whether your vehicle is new or ancient, Lovington Auto Supply is your trusted advisor when you need dependable auto parts. Not only do they have the parts you need, they have real answers to your real automotive questions, and that help keeps your vehicle running longer and stronger. Quality parts, helpful people. Lovington Auto Supply, 217 West Avenue D in Lovington. Napa, get up and go. In the bottom of the first inning, the Lady Cats, no runs on one hit, no errors committed by Hobbs, and one runner left on base. We head to the second. Hobbs leads two to nothing. And with the call, here's Don Morgan. And welcome back. As we're going to be toward the end of the order for Hobbs, the batters are seven, eight, and nine in order. Candace Harrison, the shortstop, up first. Her first appearance at the plate. Hobbs leading two to nothing in this one. Lovington wants to get out efficiently. Hobbs wants to increase their lead on the board. That's going to miss outside for ball one. One strikeout and one walk so far for Udahara in the circle for Lovington. Quiroga behind the plate. That's your battery. Olguin at first, Sanchez second, Hernandez at short, Corral at third, Garcia, Ellis, Rodriguez left to right. There's a foul off out of play toward the tennis courts to our right. Four strike one, one and one the count. Of course, Candace recently signing her letter of intent to continue her softball career next year at WTAM and Canyon. So congratulations to her. A lot of these girls on both squads will be moving on to continue their careers. And that is going to hit the inside corner. Beautiful, beautiful drop action on that as that kind of floated up. It looked like it was going to stay high, and then it just dropped right in the zone at the last second. And Harrison is a very capable hitter for Hobbs and just uh, gave that a look. No offer. One and two the count. She's capable of ripping into one. She fouls that one way high up out of play over our heads for just strike two. One and two the count. Treviso on deck, Martinez in the hole, and it'll be back to the top of the lineup. Chavarria is uh, your, your pitcher for Hobbs, but she is the flex player, meaning that she's not batting for Lovington. At least not yet. They could change that if uh, she were to come out from pitching. And that's going to miss outside for ball two. So two and two the count on Harrison. As the wind is blowing from left to right. Uh, probably about 10 to 15 miles an hour, so gusting stronger at times. So not really a factor today, although there's a, a line drive hit that goes foul down the third baseline, way out to the left field fence. So a little in front of that ball. Harrison eager to give that a smack, and Urahara taking a little speed off of it. Harrison was waiting for it and in front of it. 
two and two the count. If um, if a ball is hit at the right time and gets uh, hung up by the wind out there, that could make a difference a little bit one way or the other. Enough of a drift that the outfielder is going to have to play the wind just a bit. And that third pitch comes in. It is a ball. So now we are fourth full, full count worked right. by Hobbs batters so far through one plus. We're at a full count again. One strikeout, one walk or two walks issued by Udahara in the circle. Oh, beautiful pitch, and Harrison picks it up, but a little bit late, sends a long foul off out of play to the right, again, out toward the tennis courts. Tennis teams are not practicing today. I believe they are, uh, they're, they're, they, they are not, they may be involved in, uh, I think just the Hobbs teams are involved in tennis action today, competition. There's a grounder headed to third. Uh, Corral picks it up, fires over Ogin at first, and in time to get Harrison. Harrison's got some speed too, but she gets thrown out for the first out. Five to three in the books brings up Ilea Treviso, right fielder for Hobbs. So one out, nobody on. Then Martinez is on deck, and then top of the order, Boyle awaits in the hole. So Hobbs is just about to bat through their lineup. Two more batters, and they'll go back to the top. Uh, hit right up to the middle, and Udahara picks that up out of the circle and throws over to Olguin for out number two. One to three in the books. And a third batter coming up is number 15, Alexis Martinez, your catcher for Hobbs, batting in that ninth slot, left-handed batter. So Hobbs is still leading two to nothing. They'd like to increase that, put some more runs on the board here. Lovington wants to just get this third out and get in the dugout and get their bat swinging. That's gonna come in low and inside. Kiroga doing a nice job, but nobody on base. So it wouldn't be a problem even if it had been a, a pass ball, but two outs. Top of the second inning, two to nothing your score. Hobbs leading. And that is gonna miss a low and outside for a ball. Outfield is playing very deep here. Not a lot of wind, as you mentioned. Matter of fact, the flag has almost quit moving. No, but they know how capable Hobbs is of hitting those long balls. If they hit the flies, it's easier to run in on a on a on a uh, ball than it is to go back. You lose more time and oh, balance absolutely. trying to go back. So I think that's why they're they're all out there practically hugging the fence. And dead, uh, there's there are pretty big holes between center and right. Right field shading over, uh, left shading over a little more. There's a well hit grounder that's going to find its way out to center field. Diving for it was Sanchez, but not able to uh, to stop that. So it was a, a, a single though. It was a well hit grounder from Martinez trying to get a two out rally going for Hobbs. And now we turn over to the top of the order. Kaya Boyle coming up to the plate. She walked and crossed the plate. And Abby Zambrano will come in to a courtesy run for the catcher Martinez. Right. And that was the first hit for Hobbs and it comes with two outs here in the second inning. Yeah, they were able to put two runs on the board in the first courtesy of a walk, a fielder's choice. Two walks. Two walks, a fielder's choice that followed the two walks and an error by Lovington, a fielding error. And the first pitch to Boyle comes in, and it's a strike. Owen won the count with Martinez out on first after a hot grounder up the middle. And that's going to come in, and a throw by Q down to first base is not going to catch Martinez, or actually the courtesy runner, Zambrano, off the bag. She scrambles back in time, dives for it. So the count on Boyle, one and one now. Two outs, one on. Ooh, that just misses as the Lovington faithful wanted that to, to, to be called a strike. One and uh, two and one the count now. Two outs, a runner on first. That is Zombrano, courtesy runner for Martinez, the catcher. Oh, and that is going to hit the inside corner. Yes, a beautiful pitch. Udahara might should throw that pitch a little more often to Hobbs. That's one that looks like it's going to come in way inside and maybe even back a batter up, but it clips the corner if she can throw it like that. Boyle, meantime, is going to hit a line drive shot deep between left and uh, left field and center field, and the throw is going to come in not in time. That is going to score the speedy... Zombrano from first and give Boyle an RBI 
she really came in on the. Do you think that double or a single? Uh, I'm going to say RBI single. With uh, I think she, she went to second on the, on the throw. throw. Yeah. Since they they were concentrating on to trying to throw in to try to get the runner, an RBI single and then moved over. And I agree with that. That's yeah, and really I'm Garcia asking. and Ellis out there couldn't have done anything no. really any different. The no. ball though hit the bottom of the fence and just kind of stuck. Yeah. Both Garcia and Ellis had started shading over to play the carom, but there was no carom on no. that one, and so that was an extra half step for Martinez. And it was as it was played out there in the field as well as it could be played uh, by both of them. Just the nature of the ball. Sometimes they bounce off the fence, and sometimes they hit the bottom and just kind of die and hang up. So two outs, a runner now again at second in scoring position for Hobbs, and that's going to hit the outside corner as uh, Marissa Young up to the plate. And she walked and got thrown out her first time up. It's her second plate appearance. A swing and a miss as uh, Udahara took a lot of speed off of that, floated up a changeup, and Marissa Young way out in front of that. So one ball, two strikes, one and two count on her. And that's going to miss outside for ball two. On that pitcher's count, I've noticed that Udahara will often uh, go ahead and, and hit hit the corner, hit uh, something that's not right across the plate, seeing if she can get batters to chase and fan. And that is going to miss low and inside and run the count full on Young. So three and two is the count now. With two outs, a runner in scoring position and on second base out there. That is Kaya Boyle after her RBI single. And that is going to ooh, call strike three on the outside corner. Young suspected that might be the case and uh, walked off, you know, shaking her head. Although she's a tough batter and she'll be back, but she does strike out. And that's it, three outs and the second strikeout for Udahara. We'll be back, Lovington and Hobbs softball, as uh, uh, Hobbs is ahead three to nothing. And you'll watch it and hear it on Lovington Sports YouTube, Hobbs Sports YouTube, and HobbsAmerica.com. Stone Oil Fuel Services says... Many traffic fatalities may be caused by an intoxicated driver. So do yourself and your community a favor and remember the three C's of safety. Caution, courtesy, and above all, common sense. Safe and sober driving is everyone's responsibility. That message was from Stone Oil Fuel Services in Lovington, a name you can trust and depend on. For quality and integrity, call 575-396-1840. From the Stone family and staff at Stone Oil Fuel Services, Lovington Schools proudly supports their athletic teams and wants to encourage all teachers, students, and staff to keep pressing on. Wildcats, you are winners on and off of the court. Lovington Municipal Schools are proud of holding the utmost and highest standards. Go out there and be proud to be part of the Big Blue. For more information on what is happening now at Lovington Schools, log on to lovingtonschools.net and bet you won't be disappointed. Go Big Blue! Three claps and a woo! In the top of the second inning, the Hobbs Lady Eagles get one run on two hits, no errors committed by Lovington, and one runner left on base. After an inning and a half, it's Hobbs three, Lovington trying to get on the scoreboard. And with the bottom of the second in the call, here's Don Morgan. Thank you, TJ Miracle and Lovington's heart of the order. Five, six, and seven will be up to the plate. That means it's Corral, Hernandez, and Olguin to try to get something going. Lovington had a hit and uh, a walk. They stranded a runner, uh, left one on base in their first, and a, a high pop fly is going to go out of play for strike one on Corral, who smacks the first pitch she sees. Kiroga did the same thing. The first batter up for Lovington in the last at bat hit a single and got thrown out trying to steal second. So Lovington has had their, had their chances to score in that first at bat. A high fly ball headed out to shallow center. Is it going to be trouble? No. Going back for the catch. A beautiful catch by Kaya Boyle from second base going all the way out because that was a, a, a ball that was in shallow center. And uh, the Hobbs, our Hobbs outfielders are not playing back as far as Lovington, but still uh, Chavez out there in center field is, is playing really deep, deeper than left and right Garcia and Treviso. So Kaya Boyle with a nice grab 
uh, beautiful and unfortunate Rob uh, Corral was robbed of a hit there by that good catch. So Hernandez up to the plate, hits the first pitch she sees, and it's a ground ball that's going to go right between short and third and put her on first with a single. And this is really just a continuation of what we saw Tuesday. It was six through nine that did most of the damage for Lovington against Roswell High. I think they had nine of the 14 hits in that game against the Lady Coyotes, so the bottom of the order trying to get things going again here against Hobbs. So one out, one on, and Jocelyn O'Gean, first baseman, up to bat. Her first plate appearance for Lovington, trying to move Hernandez around and in. Oh, that's going to miss inside. Did that hit her? No, she jumped back in time, and that just is a, a ball. So one and oh, the count on her. Chavaria in the circle for Hobbs, and she's got some heat. It would hurt to get, uh, to get hit by her. O'Gean jumps back in time to save the bruise this time. Oh, and then she golfs at a shot, a low in the dirt shot over the plate, yes, but Ogin just too anxious to hit, evens up the count at one and one. Chavaria kind of smiles as she gets the ball back from Martinez. She knows she just got away with one right there. Garcia, Bailey Garcia on deck for Lovington, Udahara in the hole. One out, one on. And that's going to miss inside as well, so that is going to run the count to two and one now. Two balls, one strike for Udahara, who has struck out two and walked one in this game so far. It's early on. This Chavaria. is just Chavaria, rather. This is um, the bottom of the second inning. Time for both teams to do more. Oh, and a swing and a miss as a little changeup by Chavaria. She's been bringing the heat, and that makes the changeup speed a lot uh, more effective because Lovington is just really sitting and waiting on the fastball and the breaking balls. So two and two the count. And Ogeen very capable of hitting a long ball. A swing and a, a kind of out in front of that and hit it. it. was It was on the inside corner, and she hit it on the inside uh, of the bat, the small part of the bat toward her hands for strike two. Fouled it off you know, over to the left to the screen. And something tells me Anthony is probably going to have a, a bruise over there. Bounced off of his leg before it hit the uh, screening. Uh -oh. Coaches get hit too. Oh, and a swing and a miss as Chavaria did it again. She brought a little change up, and Ogin kind of just a little bit of a, a lazy swing at it. Gave, a, gave her strike number three for out number two. That is strike out number three for Chavaria. Brings up bottom of the order. Almost the bottom, number 21, Bailey Garcia, left fielder, and that hits the inside corner, yes. That was a good pitch, and Garcia knows it. She kind of nodded a little bit. I think she thought it might be headed inside and let it go. Owen won the count. Lovington normally, you know, pretty pretty aggressive at the bat. Some have, have stepped up and hit the first pitch they've seen, and that she gave a half swing at, did not commit. So that is ball one, a very low pitch, one and one. And the ump very quick to say no, she didn't break the plane, so. Yeah, and he made the call. He did not, you know, ask the other ump. We, we've got just a two ump crew for this game. Sometimes there are three. But we have a, a behind the plate ump, and the other ump is out there between first and second. Swing and a high pop is going to go out of play off behind the Lovington dugout. So that'll be strike two, one and two on Garcia now with two outs and one runner on. That is oh, uh, that is Hernandez after Layla smoked a, a single out between short and left out into left field. That was uh, the second hit for Lovington in this game. And they stranded one runner in that in their first at bat. They really would like to move a runner around, a runner or two around. And a well hit ball is gonna go foul. A beautiful line drive as Garcia was in front of that slightly. And I thought that might stay fair and hit just uh, out behind third, third base, but it went foul. Yeah, foul by less than a foot. That would have been trouble. That would have scored Hernandez from first for sure. But just a uh, foot foul. Difference between a run and getting back in the box. And there's a foul off out of play to the right now as Garcia is hanging very tough at the bat, trying to find one that she can hit or at the very least foil him off so she can protect the plate. One and two, the count still as just one out, one runner on here. And two outs. Two outs, right, and uh, the strikeout was the second out. And 
uh, Lovington's trailing three to nothing. Oh, and that comes in high again on a pitcher's count. Uh, Chavaria just gave her one to maybe chase, and indeed uh, Garcia flinched on it, but did not offer. So two and two the count. Two outs. Three to nothing is your score. Hobbs leading here, but Lovington trying to change that in the bottom of the second. A swing and a high pop is going to go out of play again. So again, <laughs> Garcia swinging up on this ball uh, uh, and has hit almost all of her, her fouls have been in the air. But she's two and two now. Hobbs is one strike away from getting out of this at bat and getting back to their own bats. There's a line drive that's also going to be pulled over to the left down the third base line, out of play. So still two and two. I think this is probably about what pitch number eight or nine to her now. Yeah, it's been a, a long at bat. Garcia and Chavaria battling out there. And your runner on first, Hernandez still being held on first. She's had no opportunity to really run for second. Garcia's been hitting almost every pitch, and uh, Martinez uh, has been blocking out the low balls that have come in. And that is going to be two inside. The Hobbs faithful wanting a corner call on that. That did not get it. Runs the count full, three and two. So full count on Garcia. Two outs, one runner on. After Garcia, Urahara is on deck, and that is going to be low and outside for ball four, and that is going to walk Garcia, move Hernandez over to second. And that brings up the pitcher, Daphne Urahara, batting in the ninth slot, up to try to help her own cause with runners at first and second, but two outs, Lovington. Lovington has nothing to lose here. They need to just... Uh, Swing away and try to bring the runners around and in. Don't want to strand them out there. Oh, a swing and a miss as Chavaria brought the heat and was uh, way in front of Udahara. Udahara swinging, but behind that one, fast ball, 0-1, the count. And had a little movement on it, crossed the outside of the plate. So 0-1, the count on Udahara. Two outs, but two runners on, and that misses low and inside. A good job by Martinez hanging on to that, blocking it out, coming up with it, because both the runners at first and second were kind of looking at that, especially especially at Hernandez out there on second. Layla's got good speed, but runner stayed put, first and second, and Udahara with a one and one count on her. Oh, there's a little hit uh, over to second base. Boyle picks it up and goes and touches second, so it was out number two unassisted. So two unassisted, and uh, Garcia technically reaches on a fielder's choice. But, or actually, yes, uh, yeah, Udahara reaches on a choice, fielder's choice. All right, Garcia was uh, thrown out. Yeah, I'm saying the wrong name, but, but you got it. So three outs, no runs in. Again, Lovington strands two. And we'll be back with the top of the third inning. Hobbs coming up to the bat. They lead three to nothing. And we'll be back with more Lovington and Hobbs softball on Lovington Sports YouTube, Hobbs Sports YouTube, and HobbsAmerica.com. Lasco Construction is a proud partner in education in Lee County. Lasco Construction is your hometown construction company. Lasco Construction encourages you and business owners to support Tatum, Jow, Lovington, Eunice, and Hobbs businesses. Buy as much as you can locally. Which is why Lasco Construction always supports the youth of Lee County. Lasco Construction supports you. Call 393-9161 for all your construction needs. Support your community. Switch to TDS. Pair fast internet with strong Wi-Fi for the ultimate online experience. Choose from speeds starting at 300 meg all the way up to 1 gig. Plus, blanket every corner of your home with TDS Wi-Fi Plus. Trust TDS to provide you with the best services at the best prices. Just ask our customers who are voting us best internet provider in many of the communities we serve. Visit hellotds.com to learn more. Internet speeds are up to and not guaranteed. Subject to availability. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. The Lady Cats threaten in the bottom of the second, but come up empty. No runs, one hit, no errors, and two left on. We head to the third. It's Hobbs three, Lovington nothing. And with the call, here's Dawn Morgan. And thank you very much. We have a pitching change for Lovington now. That is number 15. Uh, that is number 15, who is uh, Sabri Sanchez in the circle now, taking over for Udahara. 
So Sanchez in for Udahara. Yeah, it looks like Morales takes over at second. Making the... Uh, Yeah, number four, Honey Morales coming in at second base. And Hobbs up to the plate as the first pitch comes in high and inside. In fact, Chavez kind of moves and flinches. And that second pitch, I know, two balls and no strikes on Chavez. Either Chavez first up, Carissa Garcia on deck, Allison Garcia in the hole for Hobbs. It's three, four, and five in the order. There's a line drive shot over to third base. Corral doing a nice job. She had to reach across her body um, and glove that one. But a pretty hot line drive shot becomes a, a nice first out for Lovington. And either Chavez kind of got robbed. That was a sharply hit ball, but a well-played ball as well. So well, That may be Corral's way of saying, okay, you stole one from me in the last <laughs> half inning. I'll steal one from you this time. Yeah, line drive shot out to uh, position five for the first out. So the second batter up is Garcia, and a swing and a miss, strike one on her. As Hobbs coming up to the plate, being very uh, aggressive, swinging, you know, right away, seeing one or two pitches and swinging. So 0-1 oh count on Garcia. She struck out her last time up, which is her first plate appearance. There is a call. There's a strike. Number 2 oh two, 0-2 is the count. So Garcia comes up with a little a chip and a bat on her shoulder, wanting to get something started and get herself on base here, give herself a hit. Final line on Udahata, two innings pitch. She allowed three runs, but only one of them was earned and had one strikeout. Mm, she had two. I think she struck out Garcia. Oh, you're right, there's yeah, two. And Young, yeah, two strikeouts, two walks. And uh, she gave up two hits. I forgot to mark the second strikeout on my, on my pitching. All right, one and two the count now. Here in the top of the third inning, a swing and a foul back. So count remains one and two on Garcia as Allison Garcia, left fielder, is on deck and Anaya Rodriguez, designated player, in the hole. One out, nobody on. Lovington wants to uh, get out sufficiently as uh, they need to get runs on the board. And a, a swing and a miss as a nice pitch by Sanchez on the outside corner. And Garcia swinging just a little late on it. I think not expecting uh, the heat as Sanchez can drill him in there, uh, you know, when she wants to. She doesn't throw the heat as often as uh, as Urahara or some other pitchers, but she can definitely hit the corners and strike out number one for her. As that brings up Allison Garcia to the plate, one out, nobody on. And that's going to be a strike as well. So Lovington uh, trying to keep Hobbs a little off. And once Hobbs saw, batted completely through the lineup and, and saw uh, Udahara, they uh, brought in Sanchez. And uh, so far, so far so good. Hobbs is trying. They're definitely swinging, and they'll, they'll get the timing eventually. One and one the count. Now in Garcia with Rodriguez, designated player on deck. Harrison in the hole. Uh, Garcia reached on an error. Oh yeah, and there's a smoke and a smoker for Sanchez over the outside corner to Garcia. So the count one and two on her now. One and two with one out, nobody on here in the top uh, top third. Two outs. Two outs. Ah yes. See, I I write the strikeout down, but I don't put the two and circle it for the second out. So a lot of times I look down and I see the one in the circle, and I don't recognize my own strikeout in the in the book so I gotta finish that uh, notation so I can be sure and call it correctly two outs and a swing and a foul tip back to the screen is going to protect the plate and keep the count at two and two with two outs and nobody on Lovington with uh, the change uh, of pitching in the circle wants to try to get these outs quickly and get back into the dugout try to get their bat swinging and move runners around they've left a uh, They've left two on base, so they've left a couple on base. Oh, Three. and there is an inside pitch that is going to hit the batter, and Garcia is going to take her base. They're going to, she kind of hobbles down to first a little bit. They make sure that she's okay and that she doesn't need, she's going to run it out, make sure that she doesn't need a courtesy runner. Garcia hit by pitch, and that's the first hit by pitch. There were, uh, there were several hit by pitches in that tournament. Uh, in the black gold uh, tournament uh, by more than one pitcher. And it just uh, turned out to be, it just seemed like it was uh, that kind of a day. And it never seemed, I was calling 
those games, it never looked or seemed intentional to me. And as a pitcher, I know how easy it is to, to throw a ball and for it to miss the zone and hit a batter, especially batters who are crowding the plate a little bit. And that does happen. And I think uh, sometimes a consideration on where the batter was standing needs to be taken into consideration as well as, uh, you know, how much the pitcher missed that when they're, when they're looking at that. And you do, you're supposed to make a, an effort to get out of the way of the ball if you can. And that pitch is going to come in and miss. So that's going to even up the count one and one. Get Oga wanting an appeal down to the first mm -hmm. base umpire, and it was denied by the home plate umpire. So One and one the count. Has two outs, one runner on, on first. Put on by a hit by pitch. Harrison on deck for Hobbs, and that's going to miss outside for ball number two. So two and one the count now, two outs. Hobbs is leading this one three to nothing, and Lovington would like to keep it that score right there. Hobbs would like to add to the runs on the board. And Rodriguez, a designated player, left-handed hitter, is, a, is somebody to do it. A smoking hit down to Honey Morales at second base, but she picks it right up and fires it over to first for out number three. Four to three in the books for out three. So Hobbs threatens. They do not put a run across. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left on base. We're going to go to the bottom of the third inning. Your score three to nothing. Hobbs leading. More Lovington and Hobbs softball coming up. Forest Tire cares about your time. You tackle an endless to-do list every day. It may seem like a thankless job, but you know better. It's the little things that matter most. That's why you'll appreciate the enduring value of the Michelin Defender Tire. Designed for doers like you, Michelin's longest lasting tire keeps you on the go longer, so you have one less thing to worry about on your next road trip. Stop in today for miles of uncompromised safety and performance. Forest Tire, keeping you rolling since 1944. We know that you want to make the most out of your time. At Lee County State Bank, we believe banking should be quick and easy. That's why we're proud to provide video banking to our customers. Save time and a trip to the bank and meet with a video banker instead. Getting started is easy. Download the LCSB Connect app, create a profile, bank from anywhere. Not a customer yet? No problem. You can use a video banking app to open an account too. Download the app today and start banking from anywhere. Visit onlinelcsb.com, Lee County State Bank, member FDIC. The Hobbs Lady Eagles get a girl on, but can't move her around after two and a half innings from Lady Cat Field. It is Hobbs 3, loving to nothing, going to the bottom of the third with the call. Here's Dawn Morgan. And thank you. We are at the top of the order for Lovington. Their leadoff hitter is number two, Ana E. Quiroga, the catcher. She singled and got put out at first, her only other time at the plate. Actually, it's a caught attempted stealing. Right. Got to stay at the plate. I'm in at second. Yep, I've got it in the book from two to six. Catcher out to the shortstop, picked her off at second base. That's an attempted steal that didn't work and was out number one in the first at bat for Lovington. And the pitch comes in, a strike on Quiroga. Sanchez awaits on deck, Rodriguez in the hole. Shows bunt, lays it down, but goes foul. So Quiroga attempting to get on. Uh, Coach McCraw, if he's, especially when he's, if he's behind a run or two, he uh, will get runners on base and try to get them on base as, as any way he can and move them around and move them in. And Quiroga, with a pretty good attempt at the bunt, she just uh, turned the bat a little too much and didn't kill the momentum enough, and it just went off foul to, off to the left. Strike one, two, actually 0-2 oh the count. She'll be hitting away now, and that ball low and inside gets past Martinez, hits the ump for ball number one. One and two the count with nobody out and uh, nobody on. Sanchez on deck, Rodriguez in the hole as Chavarria in the circle, starting pitcher for Hobbs. She pitched the entire game against Lovington when Hobbs beat them 6-3 to three in the black gold tournament and ended up uh, striking out, I think I said six. I think she struck out six and walked one in that game and gave up, I believe, seven hits to uh, Lovington in that, in that game. Yep, seven hits. 
And there's a little grounder. Slow rolls over to third. And the ball is picked up and thrown. But Kiroga very quick beats it out. So it's just an infield single as the ball acted kind of like a swinging bunt. Didn't have a lot of momentum. And it took a long time to get to Young. She came in on it, played it as well as she could, made a good throw, but could not get Kiroga, who gets to base on first, starting things off for Lovington and bringing up Sabri Sanchez, the second baseman who, who started at second. And now Honey Morales taking over there, but Sabri Sanchez staying in the lineup. And at batting, she struck out her first, play, her first plate appearance and hits the first pitch she sees. It goes off foul off to the right toward the tennis courts here for strike one. So no outs, one runner on, Kiroga out on first. No courtesy runner. She likes to do her own running. And she's pretty speedy, but she did get caught and thrown out, trying to steal second. A hit right up the center, but Harrison snags it and then drags her foot across second base for the force out and then throws, makes a nice throw over to first, but does not get Sabri Sanchez, who uh, has good speed as well. That was a, I thought that was a sure hit right up the middle, and Candace Harrison came over and grabbed that. Good play, and that just means that uh, Sanchez kind of got robbed. She gets on a fielder's, reaches on a fielder's choice, but for the second time, uh, Kiroga has a single and then gets thrown out at second. So force out for the first out and brings up Zabri Rodriguez, right fielder. Swing and a miss on the first pitch, and that was a riser. Chavarria threw with some speed, and it just rose. Rodriguez swung under it and just a little late for strike one. Owen won the count. One out, one on. Lovington trails three to nothing. That's going to stay. Kind of hangs up. A kind of a late release, I think, by Chavaria. And she she touched her. She, she's like, yep, my bad, my bad. Just the timing on the, on the release was just a little bit off. But that evens the count one and one. And Ellis is on deck. Corral awaits in the hole for Lovington. That is going to be a, a ball. So two and one is going to be the count. And Rodriguez walked and uh, got stranded her first time up. This is her second plate appearance. Two and one is the count now. One out, one on for Lovington. They need some runs. There's a high pop fly, I think, out of play off to the right. Yeah, it's going to be behind the stands. The stands are full as a lot of uh, blue and a lot of black and gold uh, for this one. Beautiful weather this afternoon. Perfect day for softball, spring break, uh, Friday. Hobbs will be back in action tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock on their own field. And Lovington will play this one and then have the weekend off before they get back to school on Monday. There's a line drive shot out to left field, coming over it and making a good grab. That was a nice play by Garcia. Again, robbed Rodriguez because if that ball had died even a foot close, closer or gotten a little farther than it had, that would have been a base hit and would have moved Sanchez around for sure and maybe brought her in. But uh, Good speed for Garcia out there and then laying out to get it, though. Good play. Yeah, it was a nice, a nicely caught ball, although it was a good hit as well. Just didn't turn in to be a hit, but Rodriguez gave it a try. Fly out to seven for second out. Brings Ellis up to the plate. She struck out her first time. And looks at that one is going to be a call strike on the outside corner. Just a medium speed pitch by Chavarria. But she planted it right over the outside corner. Nice pitch. And Ellis, watch that one. Oh, and one count. She, of course, wants to uh, try to hit the ball this time and avoid the strikeout. She's a capable hitter for Lovington. This one, she picks up a low one and fouls it off. I think it may have hit her. Yeah, she's going to walk that off. It hit her while she was in the batter's box. Hit her left foot, looks like. Her left foot or shin. Those are painful. It becomes strike two. So 0-2. Oh two. two outs. So one runner on. Lovington trails three to nothing here in the bottom of the third as they need, they need to uh, move that runner around and get her in. Get a two-out rally going here. A swing and a grounder headed to Harrison at shortstop. Oh, she picks it up and then bobbles the bobbles it before she can make a throw. Going to have to write the E6 after an outstanding play earlier when she stopped a ground ball and uh, and, and tossed it and, and threw the runner out at second. Now she uh, just bobbled that and then no time to make the good throw. So Ellis reaches and that's going to bring up Corral, third baseman, up to the plate. She had a fly out to the second baseman. Boyle robbed her of a hit on a great catch. 
her first plate appearance. This is her second. So two outs, two runners on for Lovington. And a swing and a miss as Corral takes a good chop at that. But Chavaria uh, put a fastball on the outside corner. And Corral just a little bit late on that. Good pitch and a good cut. But it becomes strike one. Owen won the count. And that is fouled off out of play to the right as Chavaria took a little speed off. And Corral tried to, tried to be patient and then waited almost too long, snapped her bat around, and ended up hitting just on the off of the end of the bat out of play for strike two. Hobbs one strike away from getting out of this at bat, getting back into the dugout. And Lovington down to their last strike two get the two-out rally going and bring some runs in. The uh, potential uh, tying run is at the plate. And a swing and a long foul ball hit out of play off to the right, well beyond the, uh, the, 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 the batting cage out there off to the right. So now it is 0-2 count. And two outs with runners at first and second. Corral feeling the pressure, I'm sure. She wants to uh, be able to get a hit. Get an RBI or two or even three. She's capable of putting it over the fence for sure. That is going to hit the in is it going to hit the inside corner? Yep. Yes. The catcher drops the ball, but Martinez fires down to first to Garcia, and Corral strikes out. Wow, uh, Lovington not liking that call, that corner call, but the ump said that's it. Three, let's see, one, two, three, four, five batters up, three down. So no runs on one hit, one error, and two left on base. So we're going to go to the top of the fourth inning. Hobbs coming up to the plate. They lead three to nothing. We'll have more Lovington and Hobbs softball on Lovington Sports YouTube, Hobbs Sports YouTube, and HobbsAmerica.com. Eunice Pump and Supply has been around for over 30 years and is excited to continue their services to the community. They take pride in their employees and their hard work and dedication, and most importantly, take pride in the youth of Lee County. Eunice Pump and Supply is a proud supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Eunice Pump and Supply, 1310 Avenue, Owen Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County athletics. NMR Pipeline is a highly qualified, dedicated company, leading in performance with management and employees who've provided over 45 years of service in pipeline maintenance and construction within the oil and gas industry. NMR Pipeline, 300 South Main in Eunice, or call 3940144 for more information. Again, 3940144. NMR Pipeline is proud to be a supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. The Lady Cats put two on, but can't move them around. No runs, one hit, one error by Hobbs, and then two runners left on. We head to the fourth with the call. Here's Dawn Morgan. And thank you very much, as it is the bottom of the order for Hobbs up. Harrison at bat, Treviso on deck, Martinez in the hole. A swing and a miss at the first pitch. A nice one by Sanchez on the outside corner. He had Harrison swinging just a little bit too late, and her bat just a little short. So 0 and 1 count on her. She grounded out to the third baseman her first time up. And that's going to miss high and outside for ball one. So 1 and 1 the count. As Hobbs leading this one 3 to nothing would like to add to that lead. But Lovington would like to get out sufficiently and get back to the dugout. They have got work to do and they're running out of innings to do it in. This pitch comes in. A swing and a miss as Sanchez brings a little more heat to it. Harrison swings and misses for a strike two. She's capable of, of well-hit balls. Candace can park it as well. Lovington's capable of coming from behind when they get back to the dugout. That misses outside again. That was a pitcher's count, one and two. She uh, put one a little outside to see if Harrison would chase it, and Candy did not. If Harrison finds her way on, Treviso is on deck. Martinez in the hole, and there's a strike, and that is a strikeout, and that is the second strikeout for Sanchez, and she took over for Utahada, and that is out number one, brings Treviso, right fielder, up to the plate. And after Treviso, Martinez is on deck, and then we go back to the top of the order for uh, Kaya Boyle. Treviso grounded out to the pitcher her first time up. Now she swings at the first one she sees and fouls it out of play off to the right for strike one. So Owen won the count. 
One out, nobody on. Bottom, uh, top of the fourth here. Hobbs leading three to nothing. Lovington would like to hold them right where they are. And there's a good pitch right over the center. Had a little drop to that. And uh, I again, I think that pitch comes up, and it looks like it's going to, uh, you know, just, just drop out of the zone or maybe be a little outside. Pitchers, uh, can't, the batters tend to leave it alone. Oh, there's the ball, strike three on the outside corner. Second strikeout in, the, in a row for Sabri Sanchez. And that is out number two now. And that is going to bring up number 15, Alexis Martinez, the catcher for Hobbs. She bots in the ninth slot. She hit a single and, and scored. She crossed the plate her first time up. She's one for one. And this is going to just miss the outside corner. Lovington Faithful wanting the, the corner call on that. But the ump says it is a ball. So one and oh is the count. Martinez batting. Boyle on deck, Young in the hole if, if they get that far. Hobbs would like to get that far. Lovington would like to end this inning right here if they can. Ball two, two and oh the count. Two outs, nobody on. 3-0 three, three oh is the score. Hobbs leading. Swing and a high foul ball out of play off to the left for strike one. Interestingly enough, all three of Hobbs' runs in this game have come with two outs, so they are capable of doing damage with not a lot of room to work with on the they, on the counts. They got out to two runs to nothing over Lovington early in that game that they played. There is a grounder headed over to Morales. She stops it, fires over to Olguin for the third out. Four to three in the books as a hot grounder fielded. Fielded well and three up, three down for Hobbs. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on base. And we're going to go to the bottom of the fourth. Hobbs is leading three to nothing. We'll be back with more Hobbs and Lovington softball on Lovington Sports YouTube, Hobbs Sports YouTube, and HobbsAmerica.com. First American Bank believes success comes from building personal long-lasting relationships that are built on mutual trust. We take a consultative-driven approach to get to know you and your business. We offer a wide array of banking and digital solutions, plus more than a century of local experience. So, with First American Bank as your trusted partner, when you succeed, we do too. Find out how we can get it done for you at First American Bank. Local know, first uh, since 1903. Remember FDIC. The phone rings. Your husband jumps out of bed. Not his phone. It's my phone. Turn on my bedside light. My heart sinks. My sister has never called this early. For the next several minutes, she explains to me our mother is going to need private care. What do we do? We are both super busy, but we want the best care for mom. When it's time to entrust your loved ones to home health care, will just any home health agency do? Or do you want the best? You can get the best right here in Hobbs. Elite Home Health provides many services with skilled nurses, such as physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, even bathing aids. Trusted care in the comfort of your own home. Call 393-9281. That's 393-9281. In the top of the fourth inning, Hobbs goes 1-2-3. We head to the bottom of the fourth. Hobbs 3, Lovington nothing. And with Lovington coming to bat with the call, here's Don Morgan. Thank you. And I was uh, starting to say a few minutes ago in the, uh, in the game that Lovington played against Hobbs in the Black Gold Tournament. Hobbs got out to a 2-0 lead. Ho uh, Lovington came back and scored two to tie it up. Then Lovington went ahead in that game, and they were ahead for a couple of innings, and uh, Hobbs finally came back and put three runs on the board in their bat at uh, in the bottom of the sixth inning and then held Lovington uh, in the top of the seventh. So Lovington knows, uh, even against Hobbs, how to come back and even lead the game. So Hobbs also knows how to beat Lovington. So these two teams are... They know what they have to do, and they've seen each other. They've seen the pitching that each other has. And here we are in the bottom of the fourth with Lovington's chance to try to uh, to get on and move runners around. The first pitch to Hernandez is uh, fouled back to the screen for strike one. Layla hit a single and got stranded her first time up. In fact, Lovington has left five runners on base in the three at-bats. So they have had runners on, but they haven't had timely hitting to move them in. And that's been a bit of an issue and a bit of a problem. Oh, there's a change up by Chavarria. Took a lot of speed off, and uh, Hernandez kind of tried to wait on it, but still was ahead of that pitch. So 0-2 oh the count. Here we are, bottom of the fourth. No outs, nobody on. 0-2 oh count on Hernandez. Olguin awaits on deck. Garcia in the hole. A uh, swing and a little grounder goes foul. Although Young over there picks it off and knows it's foul. No thrower to first. It becomes 
Just another strike for Hernandez, 0-2 count. And she's trying to get on base again. She got a very solid single. That was a ground ball hit between short and third her first time up. Got stranded out there at second in scoring position. There's a swing and another ball smoked down the third base line. Foul just beyond the Hobbs dugout. So Hernandez, she's uh, really hanging tough at the plate and having to just trying to find one that, that uh, she can hit and try to get on base again. And this time maybe get to cross the plate as Lovington needs those runs. They're running out of time to catch up to Hobbs or to move ahead of them. Hobbs would like to keep it just like it is. And there's a, a ball, ball one is <laughs> Martinez really, she did her best, she framed that up. She had moved the glove a lot, noticeably over to the corner to try to get the ump to go for, hey, is that a strike on the outside corner? He said, nope, ball one, but still, Chavarillo still way out in front of Hernandez in this at bat so far. There's a swing and a miss as Hernandez swung under the ball. The ball's dropped by Martinez, but she throws it down to Garcia. And one out, so strikeout, and that is strikeout number four, I believe. Number five. Is five. One, two, that's right. Two in the first, one in the second. No, I think it's one in the third. Yep, one in the third. And yep. then that one, one that two, makes three, five. Four. Yep, five. So one out, nobody on. Olguin at bat, Garcia on deck, and Udahada in the hole. A swing and a line drive shot out to center field. Coming up under, though, is Chavez, a well-hit ball. Uh, Chavez didn't have to move very much, just a few steps over to her left, and she came in maybe one or two steps. It was a long, well-hit ball by Ogin, who gave it a ride and a try, but a fly out to center field. A nice catch out there by Chavez, robs her. Out number two, batter number three up is Garcia. She walked, and she got put out on a force out her first time up. So two outs, nobody on, and that pitch comes in. Yes, a call strike on the inside corner. Ump took his time calling that one, but I think it's the right call. I think he was trying to decide if Martinez had moved maybe too much and had been a little too exaggerated, but he decided it was a strike anyway. And a swing and a foul back to the screen for strike two on Bailey Garcia. She plays left field for Lovington. Of course, next up for these Lady Cats will be Tuesday right back here at the Friendly Confines against the Cave Girls of Carlsbad. That game, I think, is at 6.30. I believe I so. Yes, it is. Yeah. So a little bit, uh, you know, these, these games vary a lot. Baseball and softball, they could be as early as 4, 4.30. They could come in at 6, 6.37. Just depends. Sometimes they play the early game. Sometimes there's J JV game after it. Sometimes there's one game. At, uh, just a lot of different factors go into determining game times. And that pitch is a ball, one and two, and then a swing and a foul tip back to the screen by Garcia. Keeps the count at one and two. So she's hanging tough. Two outs, nobody on. Garcia. Lovington really needing base runners. They've had them. They've had five of them in this game so far, but they haven't managed to get the runs across. It's not for trying and not for uh, getting good, making good contact with the softball. A swing and a grounder stays fair. Yes, that's a fair ball as Young knocks it down, but it hits right at the bag, and that's just tough because she was uh, kind of reaching over, lunging for it, and right in front of the bag, and the, the base really kind of interfered with the glove, and she just ended up stopping it but not having a throw. So not an error, I don't think. No, it's an infield just single. Just a single for Garcia, and a two-out, maybe the two-out rally that Lovington's looking for has begun, and so that puts I think they'll have, are they going to have a courtesy runner for yeah, Garcia? Yeah, I think so. I think they will. That's what they're doing. It'll be, uh, my bet is it's going to be uh, Johanna Garcia. Johanna Garcia, as I'm betting. Is that who that is out there? Uh, 23? Number 23? I think it's 12. It's uh, oh, 12. Braylon Hernandez. Braylon Hernandez. All right. So my prognostic, my, my little, my guess and prediction was wrong on that, but. Number 12, Hernandez will courtesy run for Garcia. She's out on first. And that's going to bring Daphne Urahara, the pitcher, to the plate. I actually think it's going to be Honey Morales. Ah, okay. 
Well, nope, they're going to keep Daff in to hit. So. Okay, all right. So. so Daphne is now the designated player for Morales. Right. Unlike baseball, you do not have to declare before the game if you'll have a DP. And that's going to miss high and outside for ball number one on Daphne Utahata. She reached on a fielder's choice at the very end of the inning, uh, her first time up. It's her second plate appearance. Two outs, one runner on. Lovington trailing three to nothing to Hobbs in this one. We're in the bottom of the fourth inning. And a swing and a miss as a good pitch just right down the middle. Chavaria, kind of a medium fast ball, not her fastest, but it got the job done. Nice pitch. And Udahata with a good cut at it, but she just didn't make contact with it. So one and one is the count with two outs. A runner on first. Udahata the plate, and then we turn the line up over. Kiroga, ah, and she pulls that one. A line drive shot over down the third baseline for strike number two. One and two the count. As uh, just a little breezy at times, a little gusty. Now the, the wind looks like it's shifted and it's blowing in from the southeast toward us from outfield toward the, the home plate. But not very strong. And that pitch stays up high for ball two. So pitchers count. She gave her a little high one above the letters, see if she would chase. She did not. Um, the wind can be a factor on this field as well because this is a dirt field, a, an all dirt sand infield and grass outfield, and that's going to miss low and inside for ball three. Run the count full on Udahara. If she can find a way on, Kiroga with, is on deck, and then Sanchez in the hole. Full count. Pressure's on Chavarria to throw a strike. Pressure's on Udahara to hit it. And a long fly ball headed out to left field. Going under it is Garcia. She moves back a few steps, catches it. So a long fly ball by Udahara. And once again, Lovington gets a runner on, does not move her around. But we are going to go to the top of the fifth inning. Lovington still trailing three to nothing. And we'll be back with Lovington and Hobbs softball on Lovington Sports YouTube, Hobbs Sports YouTube, and HobbsAmerica.com. Just call us if it's a ride you lack. We'll take you there and bring you back. Hobbs Express provides bus service throughout Hobbs. The bus system operates Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturdays, 7 to 4. Hobbs Express has an immediate opening for a CDL bus driver, offering great pay and benefits. Apply online at HobbsNM.org or call 397-9230 for more information. When you need transportation anywhere around Hobbs, think of Hobbs Express. Hobbs Express, 397-9290. For all your grocery specials, shop Thriftway and La Tienda in Hobbs. The best deals in fresh produce, fresh meat, and vegetables, frozen and dairy, health and beauty, and so much more. With the friendliest and most knowledgeable staff, Thriftway and La Tienda. For all your grocery specials, come on down to La Tienda, 400 East Marland, and Thriftway, 1317 North Turner in Hobbs. Best of luck, Eagles, from all of your friends at Thriftway and La Tienda grocery stores. In the bottom of the fourth, no runs, one hit, no errors, and one runner left on for Lovington. We head to the fifth, Hobbs three, Lovington nothing. And with the call, here's Don Morgan. Thank you, TJ Miracle. And we are back to the top of the lineup for Hobbs. After a three up, three down at bat in the bottom of the fourth, it'll be Boyle up to the plate, the leadoff batter for Hobbs. Young on deck, Chavis in the hole. First pitch is going to be a strike. Yep, a good pitch. I think uh, Boyle was looking at that, thinking it might have been low and outside, but it did cross the plate, and the ump said strike one. Oh, Looks like we do have some more changes in the field for Lovington. I'll pick them up momentarily. Okay. There's a ground ball headed for Corral at third. She picks it up on the run, fires to Olguin. Well played, and Boyle hits a solid, gets solid uh, wood on the ball, but five to three in the books for the first out. Brings up number eight, Marissa Young, the, the third baseman for Lovington. She struck out her last time up. She walked and got thrown out her um, first time up. So she's due and would like to get something started for Hobbs. They lead this one three to nothing, but they'd like to add some insurance runs to that while Lovington wants to get outs two and three quickly as they can. And just to note, Zabri Rodriguez is now playing at second base. And, and we'll find out who took over in right, right momentarily. Field. Yeah, Zabri Rodriguez started out in right field. And 
Danielle Rodriguez. It may be Hernandez out there, but we'll double check. Okay. I know Hernandez, the other Hernandez, there are two. Yeah, Braylon Hernandez. Yeah, Braylon uh, has played right field before for Lovington. So I would probably I would say that you may be very right about that. And since uh, Braylon, she uh, went in as a pinch runner, she may be out there. So quickly, three balls, one strike here with one out, nobody on. Chavez on deck, Garcia in the hole for Hobbs. And Young at the plate, looking to rip one and get on or work the walk. Beautiful afternoon, sun starting to set. And shadows starting to lengthen across the field here. Swing and a miss for strike two. Now the count's full on yeah, Young. But the, the bat actually got Kiroga on the on the swing through from Young. And so Kiroga up not feeling good and right. coming out to check on her, the umpire and Coach McCraw. And Coach um, DePorto for Lovington as well. They're just going to make sure that she's okay. They're all just going to take a look at her and... Make sure that she she shook her head a little bit, like a, it it may have either the bat or the ball uh, made contact with her face mask. And when that happens as a catcher, I I, ne I didn't ever play in games as a catcher, but I did act as a catcher for practice. And man, that can really that shakes you, that throws you. When that, it's just again, that's like ringing a bell. Somebody hits your head, and it just jars and vibrates through your face and through your body. So I think they may be bringing somebody else in. Yeah, they may have they to may because have to, uh, the concussion yeah. protocol. Coach protocol any anytime there's any contact with the head in any sport the coaches generally I mean they don't take any chances they uh, pull them out run concussion protocol and they may put her right back in if everything checks out and looks good but in the meantime they're gonna have to get somebody else out here and it takes a minute to get the uh, to get the shin shin guards and the chest protector and face mask on and all the equipment uh, when you are catcher that's gonna be Abby Zambrano looks like coming and to catch number so number four it's a short bench for uh for coach McCraw and I did catch the new right fielder it is Daphne Udahara ah Udahara came oh, so she stayed that makes sense actually since she stayed into bat that uh and I know when they've moved pitching around before in their games this season that they have done that that Daphne has played right field before as well as Hernandez and Rodriguez so Daphne Udahara Daph is going to be out there in right field now and uh, Zambrano catching it is a full count on Young. And uh, I was starting to talk about the fact that uh, Lovington carries a pretty short bench. They have their their uh, their nine batters. They have a flex player, and then they have three reserve players. And at times, when they've had the JV team available, they sometimes bring over a player or two uh, to, to be reserve players for them. But Zambrano, Ojeda, and Fuentes are their reserve players in this game. So one out, nobody on, full count on Young. And that's going to miss outside for ball four. That's tough. It's tough for something, as a pitcher, it's tough for something like that to interrupt you. You've got your rhythm going. Uh, you've got an important uh, ball to pitch. Well, you're, you've got three, anytime you've got to three balls and, and uh, one or a full count, and then something interrupts you and you go back to pitching, it's tough to get back in the groove. And I'm not surprised that that ended up with a walk. But two outs, I mean one out already, one out, one on. First pitch swung and fouled off to the right. Chavez 0 for 2 did reach on a fielder's choice and score in the first. She also has a stolen base to her credit. So one out, one on. That is Young on first, out working the walk. Chavez on uh, at bat. Garcia, that's Carissa Garcia on deck and Allison Garcia in the hole. Uh, high pop fly out of play off to the right. He's going to land over there close to the tennis courts for strike two. So 0 and 2 the count now. Top of the fifth. One out, one runner on first base. 0 and 2 the count. La Hobbs is leading this one 3 to nothing. Wanting to add some insurance runs. Lovington wanting to stop things as quickly as they can. There is a, a pop that could be trouble, but it is handled by Hernandez at shortstop. She had to play the sun. Uh, and make that grab, go kind of drift back a few steps. So a fly out to the shortstop for Chavez is out number two. 
And that's going to bring up Carissa Garcia, cleanup hitter to the plate with two outs and one runner on. Garcia has struck out her both plate appearances, so she's 0 for 2 and do. And that pitch uh, is going to miss the outside corner, although some of the Leventon faithful thought that that was a good pitch and should have been a strike, but um, said no. Well, Garcia. not all good pitches are strikes. It's it was true. a good pitch, it just was. not a strike. And that's going to also miss. That, that was uh, The first pitch was a little off speed. Sanchez coming back, I think, in frustration, put a little more heat on that, but still missed on the outside corner. So it'll be ball two. So two and oh. A swing and a miss for strike one. So Carissa Garcia giving a good cut there. Sanchez kept it. Uh, it was had a little late break on that over the outside corner and some speed. So two and one the count. Two outs, a runner on first. And there's a swing and a foul back off to the right with authority. Two and two the count now is Carissa Garcia. She um, has parked a number of balls this season for Hobbs. There's a reason why she's in the cleanup spot. She's a capable hitter. Anaya Rodriguez, their designated player, is another big stick for Hobbs. And uh, Hobbs really is a, is a team full of, but they're pretty selective. They walk a lot. And uh, they do, they're all capable of walking and most of them capable of well hit balls. That is going to be uh, a foul tip off to the screen. Count remains two and two as Sanchez uh, pulled uh, pulled up on her speed well, through a changeup. Garcia doing a nice yeah, job just to waited. get a piece of it to she, stay alive. She tried. She was. She saw it that it was a changeup and she waited, tried to be patient, uh, but still ended up catching just a little bit of ball and that's going to miss outside and run the count full. Lovington again wanting the, an outside corner call on that. Three and two the count. Two outs. Full count on Garcia. One runner on. Hobbs leading three to nothing. And a swing and a high fly ball going out to shallow right. It's going to go out of play, giving good chase and hustle. Udahara and right. And um, Rodriguez at second coming over to try to catch it. But it was uh, that was not catchable. You could be as fast as you could be. And that just ended, that just landed, I think, just inside the fence over there on the right side. So count stays full. Garcia hanging tough at the plate. Trying to get one to to hit, help her teammate out, and she spoils that one off as well. Back to the screen, off to the right. Count remains full. Garcia hanging tough at the plate, but also Sanchez hanging tough in the circle. Got a battle going on here. The two outs and a runner on first. Here in the top of the fifth inning. A uh, little change of ah uh, is going to hit, and really it looked like. It looked like Garcia turned her body, and in doing so, she actually moved her body in front of the ball there. Uh, the ball was coming to the inside, but a hit by pitch is the second one of those that that uh, Sanchez has issued since she took it over in the circle for Utahata. So now runners at first and second, two outs, and Allison Garcia to the plate. And that's going to be a call, strike one. So still two outs, runners at first and second. Allison Garcia, she reached on a hit by pitch her last time up. She reached on an air and got stranded her first time. That's going to hit the outside corner. Yeah, nice pitch by Sanchez. And there, that was the strike, the corner call. 0-2 count. And Sanchez is ahead of uh, Allison Garcia here at the plate. Hobbs does not want to strand those runners. Lovington wants them to stay right where they are. Swing and a miss as a good pitch on the outside corner gets Lovington out of a bit of a jam as uh, they had two runners on by Hobbs who threatened but did not bring them across. So with no runs on no hits, no errors, and two left on base, so we're going to go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Lovington trailing three to nothing. They come in, they're coming up to the plate, though, and we'll have more Lovington and Hobbs softball on Lovington Sports YouTube, Hobbs Sports YouTube, and HobbsAmerica.com. Attention shoppers, Bob's Thriftway welcomes you to Lovington, New Mexico. This week, you'll save big on grocery items throughout their store. Save big on produce, household items, bread products, and meats. 
Every week, Bob's Thriftway has big savings for their customers. Bob's Thriftway is your local hometown grocery store. So for the freshest produce, the best meats, shop Bob's Thriftway, 906 West Avenue D in Lovington. Western States Insurance. Why choose Western States Insurance as your independent insurance agent? Because Western States Insurance is more than an insurance agency. They're a people agency dedicated to the insurance needs of their customers. Western States Insurance is large enough to provide the product you demand and small enough to offer you personal service. We've got you covered. Western States Insurance. Call 396-1318 or go by 212 North Love in Lovington. Hobbs puts a couple on but can't move them around. We head to the bottom of the fifth inning. Hobbs three, Lovington yet to score. And with the call, here's Dawn Morgan. And thank you very much, TJ Miracle. As we go to the top of the order again for uh, Lovington, it's going to be Quiroga up, Sanchez on deck, Rodriguez in the hole. And this will be the third plate appearance for Quiroga, who has gotten on base both times with a single and gotten thrown out. Actually, it's going to be uh, Honey Morales, ah, okay. who took over as the catcher. I was oh, looking okay. at the wrong roster ah, a that's minute right. ago. Okay. So we have another. <laughs> or she's, we have another switch in the lineup. Honey Morales, who had, who's playing second. No, she's catching now. She's, I know. As I said, she was playing second early, earlier in the game. But uh, you said that she was catching now. I, I heard you. First pitch is in. It's a ball. Second pitch, she hits. And a grounder that finds its way between shortstop and third out to left field. And the throw comes in. Well played by Garcia out there. But, but uh, Honey Morales on first with a solid single. Nice hot grounder out now there. That brings up number 15, batting in the second slot for Lovington, Savory Sanchez. Right-handed batter. It's her third plate appearance. Reached on a fielder's choice and got stranded her last time up. And she shows bunt, but spins the ball, does not deaden the ball. It spins off the end of the bat and off, of, off out of play back to the screen for strike one. So Sanchez with a runner on first. Coach McCraw wanting to try to move the runner around, get some runs across. Uh, Lovington is getting blanked right now, three to nothing. But it's only three to nothing, and they could make that up in one good inning. And there's a, a fly ball that's going out right almost exactly to Treviso out in right field. She hardly had to move at all. Sanchez gave it a ride and a try, but a fly out to position nine in the books is the first out. Number 17, Xavier Rodriguez it comes to the plate with one out and one on. Rodriguez fly, hit a fly out to the left fielder last time up. She walked and got stranded her first time up. Ellis is on deck and Corral in the hole. That pitch is going to be a little low and inside for ball one. So one to no count on her. One out, one on. Here we are in the bottom of the fifth inning. Lovington running out of time. They need to not just put runners on, but bring them around. And this could be the inning. It's a high fly ball headed out to shallow right field. Coming in on it. It's trouble. Treviso comes in on it, and Boyle goes back on it. Neither one of them can get there in time, and the ball drops. So Rodriguez is going to reach on a single, and that moves uh, Honey Morales over to second. So now runners at first and second. Zimri Ellis, your center fielder, up to the plate. Corral on deck. Hernandez in the hole. Ellis reached on an error and got stranded her last time up. Struck out her first time up. She's 0 for 2 and due. S a swing and a hot grounder right up the middle is going to score one, maybe. A throw comes into the home plate and a good throw, but Martinez drops the ball and that allows Honey Morales to reach and cross home plate. So Lovington has one run and on the... Uh, on the hit, Zimri Ellis ends up at first, and Rod Rodriguez moves over to second. So one runner across, runners at first and second, only one out. Corral is at the plate. Hernandez on deck. Olguin in the hole. Lovington is trying to have their breakout inning right here, their breakout at bat. 
and catch up or go ahead of Hobbs. Hobbs wants to shut things down as quickly as they can. The first pitch is in, a little high for ball one on Corral. Runners at first and second. That's Ellis on first, Rodriguez on second. After a well hit ball, uh, was just in there and just a little a, a Texas leaguer that stayed uh, up in the air a long time and dropped out there behind in shallow right field and that's always trouble. And Coach Boyle going to come out. That may spell the end for Chavaria. She's starting to struggle here a little bit in the fifth inning. 2-0 and the count on Corral with one out and two runners on. I mean, the potential go-ahead run is at the plate, uh, you know, with Corral. The Ellis on first represents the tying run, and then Corral represents the go-ahead, and Corral is capable of parking it. Maybe uh, Boyle, I think he's not going to make any changes. I think he's just uh, giving a pep talk to his team and saying, hey, you've got one out. Just worry about your outs and... Get, let's get them and get them back to the dugout. And uh, he's just making sure they're all aware, giving them a little bit of break. And they're, I think he was cooling Lovington's momentum down just a little bit, stopping things just a bit. A high fly ball out to uh, center and calling it off. Actually, Treviso comes in from right field. It was in the area that center could have handled it, right field could have handled it. Going back to try to get it was Boyle, but the, 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 the sun was in her eyes as well. So a nice catch as Treviso comes in with good hustle and robs Corral of a hit. So a fly out to right field to position nine for the second out. And that was a big out for Hobbs as now they've got two outs. Layla Hernandez at the plate and runners still on first and second. They've given up one run, but now, and I think Boyle might have told him, hey, if it comes down to it, trade an out for a run, but only one run if you can. And now they don't have to worry as much about that, but Layla Hernandez is capable. She had a hit and got stranded her first time up and then struck out her last time up. Key for Lovington's hitters is just don't try and do too much. Just do what you can. Find a pitch you can handle, get it in play, and see what happens. The one and know the count on Hernandez. Okin on deck. Swing and a miss for Hernandez. One and one the count. And I think that is true. Layla is a capable hitter, but I think she doesn't always she doesn't always believe in herself that she can hit, and she's she will sometimes miss contact with the ball, and that gets her down a little bit, gets in her head but she's, uh, she's a capable batter. I think she just needs to believe that, you know, more often than she does and really, really watch the ball and make, make contact with it. Really watch it all the way and hit it. She's got surprising power, too. She can smack the, the heck out of that ball. Chavaria doing a good job of pitching the heck out of that ball this afternoon, though, in this game and swinging a miss for Hernandez. It's evened up two and two now. With two outs, two runners on, first and second. And Hernandez, maybe a two out rally. It's a great time to get something going and prove how capable she is at the bat. Chavaria would like to get the out and get back in the dugout. Ooh, and oh, and uh, there was good contact, but she swung just at the, on the bottom of the ball and, and, and just fouled it straight back over our heads here. But a good cut at that ball. Count stays two and two. A swing and again fouled it back. She is staying, she's staying tough at the plate. And you know, she was in front of that one too. Chavaria took a little speed off of that and and Hernandez saw that right away and she tried to be patient. She was still out in front of it just a little bit, but she was uh, she was watching it and made contact with it. Stayed tough, protecting the plate. Two and two, two outs, two on for Lovington, who wants to break things open here. Oh, and that stays high. <laughs> and Hernandez flinched on it, thought about swinging, but she held off, and so the count stays full, three and two. She uh, sometimes will have a tendency to go for high balls, either over the plate or just to the outside, but and they're, they're hard to lay off on. I know that was my weakness as a batter. I like to try to hit the high ones. Swing and a miss. She goes down swinging. 
And so Lovington manages to put one run across. They strand two on the bases, though. They get uh, two hits in that effort. There were three no hits. three hits. There were no errors. And uh, yep, there was a single by Quiro or by uh, Honey and Morales. Two left. And Rodriguez hit, and then Ellis hit. And two left on base. Yeah, I've already written that down. So we're good. Three outs. And the base, uh, three to one is your score. Hobbs will be coming up to the plate. We'll have more Lovington and Hobbs softball on Lovington Sports YouTube, Hobbs Sports YouTube, and HobbsAmerica.com. Eunice Pump and Supply has been around for over 30 years and is excited to continue their services to the community. They take pride in their employees and their hard work and dedication, and most importantly, take pride in the youth of Lee County. Eunice Pump and Supply is a proud supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Eunice Pump and Supply, 1310 Avenue, Owen Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County Athletics. Devon Energy is proud to support the athletic programs of Lovington High School this season. By partnering with local schools in Lovington, Devon is making an investment in the long-term future of the community. Sports teach discipline, teamwork, and leadership. Skills our youth will use to succeed for a lifetime. From the Devon team to yours, Devon Energy wishes you good luck this season, both on the field and in the classroom. Go Wildcats! The Lady Cats finally put one on the board. One run on three hits, no errors, and two left on. Sorry, Don, I am dealing with, apparently there's problems at the station that nobody can figure out. And here we go. We come to the top of the sixth inning with the Hobbs coming up to the plate. They lead three to one, and it's the uh, it's six, seven, and eight in the lineup for Hobbs, starting off with the designated player, Anaya Rodriguez. And she swings and cuts at the first ball she sees. It goes out of play off to the left for strike one. Owen won the count. Sanchez in the circle for Lovington. Lovington wanting to be efficient, get three outs, and get back to the dugout and try to get a couple more runs on the board. And that is going to just miss the outside corner. One and one is the count. With Rodriguez, the leadoff batter, she grounded out to the second baseman her last time up. F had a fly out to left field her first time up, so she's 0 for 2. Left-handed batter. A swing and a long high fly ball coming in under it from center field. Ellis making the grab. She really had to run as that ball hung up in the in the wind <coughs> just a little bit, and it stopped the momentum. And I thought that was going to uh, be a, a much more Excuse towards me, center. Don. Sorry, I'm going to apologize for the camera work right now because okay. I can't run it for a minute. All right, but we will continue on as this game is very tight. Three to one is your score here in the top of the sixth inning. And a great catch by Ellis robbed Rodriguez of a hit. A fly out to center field and a bunt now laid down by Harrison is going to put her on. And yeah, that gives Hobbs a base runner as Harrison laid down a beautiful bunt. And bunting is really an art and not every batter uh, can really bunt well. And uh, sometimes it really, sometimes you're you're much better at, at bunting, and you just you, you just have a bad pitch to try to hit and uh, bunt. But bunting is uh, is one of those skills that it's uh, very good to have if you can lay down a great bunt and get on base like Harrison did. She's got good speed, so it's a bunt single. And everybody played that about as well as they could. The throw was off, but she was didn't matter. Harrison was already at first base, and that throw would not have gotten her. And it didn't get past and allow her to get to second anyway. So a bunt single, Treviso at the plate. A, high, a, a fly, line drive is going to go long ball out, out of play off to the right for a strike. So 0-1. So uh, one out, one runner on. That's Harrison who reached on a bunt single. Treviso at the plate with an 0-1 count. Martinez is on deck and then top of the order back to Boyle. And there's a swing and a foul out of play off to the right for strike number two on Treviso who struck out her last time up. She grounded out to the pitcher her first time up. So she's 0 for two. A one ball, two count strike on her, Treviso, one and two. And 
That stays high for ball two, so evens up the count two and two. Again, that was on a pitcher's count, one and two, and a lot of times pitchers will nibble around the edges or give a batter something that uh, that they might chase with uh, two, two strikes on them, protecting the plate. Go after a high one or a high outside one. Brings the heat and a swing and a foul again out of play off to the right, so count remains two and two. And the runner, Harrison, goes back to first. So one out, one on. Hobbs leading this one three to one. Apparently certain people can't use their brains. Okay, sorry. I'm back. <laughs> Martinez on deck, Boyle in the hole. And another foul out of play off to the right. So Treviso hanging really tough at the plate. Yeah, it's been quite the battle up there between Treviso and Sanchez. And Sanchez trying to keep this at a 3-1 ball game. But as you mentioned, a good bunt by Harrison. Lovington would like to get a pretty hard one over towards Hernandez or Rodriguez, see if they could turn two. And there's a ground ball over the shortstop. Oh, and a nice play as Hernandez. Man, she she fielded that so well and really uh, threw it over. And uh, Rodriguez over there uh, took it, but she flipped it and couldn't get it out of her glove and, and make the throw in time. But still, they cut off the lead runner, and Treviso reaches. No, they didn't. She oh. was safe. Oh, she, so oh, she was safe. E4. Oh, that's right. Okay. So thank you very much. So it's a fielder's yeah, choice on Treviso. It's a fielder's choice on Treviso. And Harrison, and is, Harrison safe is, the is safe E4. on the uh, E4. Yeah, after the bunt. Because Rodriguez dropped it. Yeah, so she is safe. Thank you. And it's ball one to Martinez now. Yeah, I was getting to that. Thank you. I was writing in my book. Second error for the Lady Cats. They've got to make sure it does not hurt them. And Martinez looks at that, but it's a strike. So Martinez followed by Boyle and Young. When we go back to the top of the order, if we if we make it that long, and tell you what, that was that's a, a bitter pill for Lovington to swallow, with uh, you know an almost sure out at second there, just uh, bobbled a bit and gives more life to Hobbs with runners at first and second. As Lovington wants to seal things off, there's a swing and a foul back to the screen. So count is two and two with the one out. One out, two on. Lovington down by two. They need to try to keep Hobbs from scoring here. They've got another couple of chances to even things up or go ahead of Hobbs in this game, but they've got to really try to contain things right here. Hobbs wants to break things wide open, and there's a long foul ball out of play off to the left. Count remains two and two as Martinez, the catcher for Hobbs, hanging tough. She grounded out to the second baseman her first time, or second time up. She singled and scored across the plate her first time up, so she's one for two. Of course, for Sanchez, this is the second time through the line. And a swing and a miss as a big strikeout for Sanchez. And that is her fourth strikeout since she took over for Utahara in the circle. And out number two. So now that brings up top of the order, Kaya Boyle up to the plate. She grounded out to third her last time up. She had an RBI single and got stranded. She walked and crossed the plate her first time up. Fourth plate appearance. First pitch is going to be high and outside for ball one. One to know the count. Two outs, two on. Hobbs leading three to one. They want to increase that, uh, that score, give themselves some insurance runs. Lovington wants to shut things down to get that third out and get to the dugout as soon as they can. And that's going to just miss a high and outside for ball two. So 2-0 oh the count. As Boyle, Boyle can hit, but Boyle can work the walks. And Lovington wants to get this third out if they can. And Boyle's kind of a tough out. Lead off batter for a reason. That comes in on the inside corner for call. Strike one. So 2-1 and one the count now. Uh, almost, uh, nope, no, she didn't go. Uh, Boyle thought about it. She did not 
And the Lovington faithful, a lot of them were showing the strike call. <laughs> Three and one the count now on Boyle. Trying to help her teammates out, bringing them around and in. Sanchez puts one on the outside corner for call strike two, even, and that brings the count full. Three and two now on Boyle. So Lovington a strike away from getting out of this at bat. Hobbs wanting to break things open and keep the line moving. And a high fly ball coming up under its corral at third base. She catches it easily and ends the threat by Hobbs. They put two on, but they do not bring him around across the plate. So no runs on one hit, the bunt single. There, were, there was one error, and there were two left on base. So we go to the top of the seventh inning, or the bottom of the uh, sixth inning, rather. Lovington coming up to bat. They are trailing 3-1. to one. We'll be back with more Lovington and Hobbs softball on Lovington Sports YouTube, Hobbs Sports YouTube, and HobbsAmerica.com. Eunice Pump and Supply has been around for over 30 years and is excited to continue their services to the community. They take pride in their employees and their hard work and dedication, and most importantly, take pride in the youth of Lee County. Eunice Pump and Supply is a proud supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Eunice Pump and Supply, 1310 Avenue, Owen Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County athletics. Devon Energy is proud to support the athletic programs of Lovington High School this season. By partnering with local schools in Lovington, Devon is making an investment in the long-term future of the community. Sports teach discipline, teamwork, and leadership. Skills our youth will use to succeed for a lifetime. From the Devon team to yours, Devon Energy wishes you good luck this season, both on the field and in the classroom. Go Wildcats! The Hobbs Lady Eagles have their first hit since the second inning, but leave two stranded in the in the top of the sixth. We head to the bottom of the sixth. Hobbs three, Lovington one. And with the call, here's Don Morgan. Thank you very much, TJ Miracle. It's the bottom of the order for Lovington. It's a seven, eight, and nine with Ogin Garcia Udahada. Jocelyn Ogin, the first baseman for Lovington, had a nicely hit fly out in the center field her last time up, but it was caught and she did not get the hit. She struck out her first time. So she's 0 for 2 and due for Lovington. They trail by 2. They need base runners and they need runs across the plate. And that is going to be a fair ball as that's a hot grounder that is uh, that crosses really just uh, just on the bag side. And that's going to be a stand-up double for Ogin, who smacks the first pitch she sees. A hot grounder right down the third base line to get on second base in scoring position. Yeah, you couldn't hug the line any better than that as Lovington has been flirting with that line a couple of times. But that was just a, a big hit for Ogin. And so Lovington puts a girl in scoring position to start things off. Garcia at the plate, center a left fielder for Lovington. And the first pitch that comes in, it's a ball. So 1-0 oh the count. Uh, Garcia hit a single and got stranded her last time up. She walked and got thrown out her first time up. She's one for two. No outs. Runner on second for Lovington. That's going to be low, and Martinez a good job to block that out and keep that from getting past her because uh, Ogin out there on second was giving it a hard look. So ball two, 2-0 two oh the, the count now. On Garcia, Udahara on deck, and then top of the order, uh, Quiroga didn't bat the last time. It was Honey Morales. And there's a single, a hot shot, little line drive, low line drive out between first and second into right field. Picked up and played about as well as you can by Treviso. She throws it in and does manage to keep Olguin on third, but Garcia with a line drive single. Gets on first, runners at the corners for Lovington, and the potential tying run there is on base, and the potential go-ahead run is at the plate in the form of Daphne Urahara. And a timeout is taken, and I think, yes, we're going to have a pitching change as Chavarria is going to come out of the circle and going in. I think it's going to be Treviso. Treviso from right. And they are field. putting in... They're going to put Fuentes in right field, okay. number five. That is, uh, yes, number five. And that means uh, Treviso moves in from right. 
goes in relief of Chavarria, and then uh, Chavarria was uh, designated, which well, she was a flex player and not batting anyway, so she comes off, so she won't be playing or batting. And uh, Fuentes will take her warm up pitches here with a 2 0 count on Udahara at the plate. And runners on first and second, no outs. Hobbs is trying to flummox Lovington and shut shut him down here by putting a different pitcher in and just keeping them from being able to move. I think them it's all an OO in. count on Udahata. You think so? Yeah. Uh, two, two, yeah, two they and oh. They still have two and oh up there, but that was the count. Oh, from okay. Garcia. That was from so, Garcia. Yeah, okay. New, new batter. New batter. Okay. There we go. All right. Of course, don't forget, coming up tomorrow, the Hobbs Lady Eagles will be in action at home at Veterans Memorial Complex, taking on Lubbock Cooper Liberty, one of the new schools they're building there in that Cooper School District. So they'll have that about 12.45, Lady Eagle pregame show tomorrow. First pitch scheduled for 1 o'clock on the Hobbs Sports YouTube channel, HobbsAmerica.com. Next up for the Lady Cats will be on Tuesday, right back here at Lady Cat Field against the Carlsbad Cave Girls. And you'll have the call for that 6.30 on Tuesday night. I'll be right. across the way over at the baseball stadium. For a doubleheader, actually, I think, on Tuesday, right? Uh, I believe a, so, yeah. A doubleheader, I think. And I'll probably uh, get start that first game with you and, and call that until I come over here for the for the game. Your first game is at 4.30, the first game of that doubleheader. I think against, is it Dexter? I think so, yeah. I think it may be uh, the Lovington baseball against Dexter on a Tuesday night. 4.30 and 6.30, and it's just one game for the Lovington Lady Cats at 6.30 here at Wildcat Field. So now, new pitcher has taken her warm-up. There's a throw down to, so they actually to second base. Boyle comes in, cuts it off, and makes the throw over to Young, who, does they catch that or they yep, appeal she that? Was nope, out. She was uh Yep, she's, she's... And that's the second base running error of the day for Lovington, and it yep. cost him a as potential run as Olguin fell for the out. fake... Yeah, she mm -hmm. fell for the fake throw oh, as, Gar second. as yep. Garcia goes to second. So. Yep. They, um, the, it looked like... And Martinez did a good job of coming up in the crouch looking like she was going to throw to uh, second base and a long high fly ball out to Fuentes in right field. She comes up under it and grabs it, then makes the throw as tagging up at second was Garcia, and then makes it over to third. So Lovington still with one runner on and in scoring position as Olguin, of course, had jumped out a little too much uh, off of third. And that'll and score two to it, one so. to five for the out. Right. Two to four to five. She threw to second base. Oh, okay. Two to four. Two to bo boil. That two one, to four to five. That was an easy out. fix. Yeah. Yeah. And that single for Garcia, she advanced over. She's on third. And that is a 2-0 and o count now, I believe. Yes. 2-0 and o count. Oh, and a, a good swing, a cut on Honey Morales, batting in place of Quiroga. Quiroga, I guess, Quiroga got her bell rung, um, got hit in, either by the ball or the bat or both, and had to come out uh, from behind the plate and has not come back in the game. Yeah, concussion protocol. I'm not yeah. sure she can. Right, and a high fly ball going out to shallow center, but coming over for it for the grab, coming out of second base is Boyle. She's good. She's got a big range out there, and she's good at drifting back if she needs to or to her left and right, and she snags a lot of those shallow in outfield balls. So uh, that is a fly out to uh, four for the third out and Lovington again threatens but comes up empty and we continue to see three to one your score Hobbs leading and we're going to go to the top of the seventh inning and we'll be back with more Lovington and Hobbs softball on Lovington Sports YouTube, Hobbs Sports YouTube and HobbsAmerica.com. When it comes to your hard-earned money, selecting the right bank is vital. Hi, I'm David Campbell, president of First American Bank in Lovington. First American Bank in Lovington is part of this community, so bank with trusted partners you know and trusted partners that are part of this area we call home. First American Bank offers all the advantages big corporate banks do, and we do our banking with hometown support and commitment. Choose First American Bank, 19 West Washington in Lovington. We want to earn your trust, then earn your business. 
It's no secret, at some point you'll have a question or need to replace or fix something on your vehicle. Whether your vehicle is new or ancient, Lovington Auto Supply is your trusted advisor when you need dependable auto parts. Not only do they have the parts you need, they have real answers to your real automotive questions, and that help keeps your vehicle running longer and stronger. Quality parts, helpful people. Lovington Auto Supply, 217 West Avenue D in Lovington. Napa, get up and go. Back here in Lovington, in the Lovington half of the sixth, no runs on two hits, no errors committed by Hobbs, and one runner left on. Three to one is our score, and with the call, here's Don Morgan. Yeah, thank you very much, DJ Miracle. Top of the seventh inning, and Lovington has had their chances. Uh, Hobbs has uh, really done a good job of shutting them down. They have left a lot of runners on base. Yeah, your line score through six, three runs on just three hits for Hobbs. One error committed, and they've left seven on base for Lovington. One run on nine hits. One error, and they've left nine runners on. Yeah. So that kind of tells the, tells the tale and shows you uh, defensively a pretty good game by both teams. More errors, I think, for Lovington. Yep, Lovington's had two, and Hobbs has had one. Just the one, yep. So up to bat, it is for Hobbs here. It is Young up to the plate. Swing and a long fly ball headed out to center field. Ellis runs back to the wall and catches it just right in front of the wall. So a good job by Young. She gives it a, a, a ride and hits a long fly ball, but it's out number one as Lovington now has one out. And Chavez, the center fielder, up to the plate, followed by Carissa Garcia, the cleanup hitter, and then Allison Garcia in the hole. So one out, nobody on after that catch out in center by Ellis and a first pitch is hit and coming over for Daphne Udahada out in right field with a nice grab she really had to hustle over to her right run after that and catch it on the run. Yeah that one tailing away and dying and dying quail I believe they call that. Udahada did a nice job grabbing that quail and putting it in the glove for two outs. So Hobbs with a couple of long well hit balls but denied by good fielding by Lovington brings Carissa Garcia up to the plate with two outs and nobody on, and that misses outside for ball one. So 1-0 one oh the count as Lovington wants to get out sufficiently, get back in the dugout. They've got one chance left to tie it up or go ahead of Hobbs. And that's going to hit the outside corner for strike one as Sanchez in the circle and in relief of Udahada, who stayed in the game and She's now out in right field, stayed at bat, I should say, as well. There's a swing and a foul back to the screen for strike two, so one and two the count on Carissa Garcia. She's a dangerous hitter, even with two strikes on her. I've seen her park balls, and she is a definite uh, home run threat. And Hobbs would like to have a solo homer here if they could, or just keep the line moving with two outs and get some insurance runs. All three of Hobbs' runs coming with two outs. A swing and a miss as a big strikeout for Sanchez as Garcia gives it a good cut but misses and strikeout means three up, three down as Lovington handles the challenge and now they're in the dugout with their final, final try here to tie it up or to win this one over Hobbs in the bottom of the seventh. We'll be back with more Lovington and Hobbs softball on Lovington Sports YouTube, Hobbs Sports YouTube, and HobbsAmerica.com. Introducing a smarter, easier way to manage your Lee County Electric account. It is called Smart. Now you can pay your bill anywhere, anytime, with 24-hour access to your account. It is free and simple to use. Just search for the Smart Hub app on your cell phone or device and download the free app or go to our website at lcacnet.com and look for the Smart Hub logo to view your account or pay your bill online. Managing your Lee County Electric account conveniently and securely with Smart Hub. Lee County Electric, owned by those we serve. Stone Oil Field Services says many traffic fatalities may be caused by an intoxicated driver. So do yourself and your community a favor and remember the three C's of safety, caution, courtesy, and above all, common sense. Safe and sober driving is everyone's responsibility. That message was from Stone Oil Fuel Services in Lovington, a name you can trust and depend on. For quality and integrity, call 575-396-1840. From the Stone family and staff at Stone Oil Fuel Services, the Hobsley Eagles go 1-2-3 in the top of the seventh. Bottom of the seventh, Lovington down to their final three outs and trailing by two runs. 
with the call, Don Morgan. Thank you, TJ Miracle. Three to one is your score here with uh, Treviso in the circle for Hobbs coming in relief uh, during that last at bat for Lovington. And the first pitch is going to be outside for ball one. Sabri Sanchez up to the plate, followed by Rodriguez and Ellis as Lovington needs to get two runs across to tie it, three to win it. And that's going to be a call strike on the outside corner to even things up one and one. No outs, nobody on. Lovington got to got to produce right here. A swing and a little pop foul over to, uh, not foul, but it stays fair right in front of the first base bag. Garcia handles that, so a, kind of a little weak pop out to position three. First out, that brings out 17, Xavier Rodriguez right, who was in right field for Lovington before she came out. She's up if Ellis is on deck and Corral if they make it that far. Lovington wants to make it that far, but they now are down to two outs in order to try to tie it up. Three to go ahead and win it. And this has been a, a pretty pretty well played game. A, you know, a couple of errors here and there, um, but pretty well matched teams. And that is going to be a call. Strike one on the outside corner. So one and one the count now as Hobbs girls are ranked number three in 5A in New Mexico. And there is a little hit. It's going to be a line drive shot into shallow center. Boyle tries to hustle and put a hand up, but she had no, no, uh, she's about, a, about two feet too short to be able to get that ball. And it's just a solid single for Rodriguez, who's on first. And now the potential tying run is at the plate in the form of Zimmery Ellis, your center fielder, who reached on a single her last time up. She got stranded. And she does have the lone RBI in the game for Lovington. Yep, that was not just a single, but an RBI single as well. And first pitch is in. It's a ball. So one to know the count, one out, one on. As Lovington is also ranked number three in 4A in New Mexico. So you've got your number three ranked girls in 4A, 5A playing against each other in this game. And uh, they've played each other like a... Uh, you know, like a number three team in each category. Well, I believe uh, Hobbs number three overall, regardless of rank Lovington, number 11. So, Yeah, but in in 4A, 3A, yes. just in New Mexico, 4A, 5A. Yeah, what I said was was, was accurate. Yeah, but oh, yeah, no, overall. No, exactly. Though. Overall, yes. But these games, but these teams are not equal anyway because one's a 4A team and, and one's, one's a 5A. 5A. Yes, I, I, yeah, I but, understand that. But they're playing, you know, to the close to the top level and playing a very close, you know, good game. As pitches have come in to even things up at two and two on Ellis. With one out, one on. Potential tying run at the plate and a swing and a, a foul back to the screen on Ellis as she's protecting the plate. That ball was a little outside, but close enough that it might have been called a strike. So she did the right thing swinging at it. She was a little behind it and a little bit under it. Spun she it could get back. on it early with the way the sun is setting. The left side of the infield's having heck. And she spoils that one off and stays alive at the bat as well. 2-2 two -two is your count. One out, one on. A runner on first there for Lovington. They trail by two runs here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Three to one, your score. Two to the pitch count on Ellis. Corral on deck and Hernandez in the hole, and there's a pitch in the dirt. So ball three as the count runs full now with Treviso in the circle, who came in relief of the starting pitcher, Chavarria. A swing and a line drive shot is gonna is it gonna fall in? It is. Did she oh, catch hold, it? Harrison holds on to it. Wow, Harrison! Even after colliding with Young. Wow, Harrison! That was a heck of a grab. As Harrison, I thought it was gonna drop in there just behind third base and sh very shallow left field. But Harrison came over from shortstop with the sun in her face, caught it just on a shoestring catch with the back of her glove and hang on to it. That was a, a good catch and it robbed Ellis of what looked like a sure hit, a sure single, but instead it becomes uh, a pop out to position six and brings Corral up to the plate and Lovington is down to their final out here to try to tie things up or to go ahead and beat Hobbs, but they're gonna need to do it with a two out rally and they're gonna need to do it 
with Corral at the plate, two balls on her, two and no count. A runner still on first. That's Avery Rodriguez. Hernandez on deck, Ogin in the hole. And that's going to be right down the pike, a beautiful strike, a little pop in the glove in that, and strike one. So two and one is your count. Two and one. Two outs. Swing and a little grounder over toward third base is going to roll foul and even the count up at two and two. So now Lovington's down to their last strike to try to tie things up or go ahead of Hobbs and beat them here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Two outs, one runner on first. And Corral is a very capable of parking the ball or a, a, a long hit ball. And that's going to be, that's going to skip in the dirt and run the count full. So three and two. And if you're Lovington now and you're Angelina Corral, it's anything you have to do to stay alive and get on base, whether it's a walk, a hit, whatever. And there's a grounder headed to Harrison at short. She picks it up, fires over to first to Garcia, six to three, and Hobbs has won this game three to one. Oh, a very, a very close game and a well-fought battle by both of these teams. Three to one, your final score, Hobbs winning over Lovington. Second time they've beaten them this season, a 5A team beating a 4A team here in Lovington. We'll be back to wrap this one up with more Lovington and Hobbs softball on Lovington Sports YouTube, Hobbs Sports YouTube, and HobbsAmerica.com. Lovington Schools proudly supports their athletic teams and wants to encourage all teachers, students, and staff to keep pressing on. Wildcats, you are winners on and off of the court. Lovington Municipal School are proud of holding the utmost and highest standards. Go out there and be proud to be part of the Big Blue. For more information on what is happening now at Lovington Schools, log on to lovingtonschools.net and bet you won't be disappointed. Go Big Blue! Three claps and a woo! Lasco Construction is a proud partner in education in Lee County. Lasco Construction is your hometown construction company. Lasco Construction encourages you and business owners to support Tatum, Jow, Lovington, Eunice, and Hobbs businesses. Buy as much as you can locally, which is why Lasco Construction always supports the youth of Lee County. Lasco Construction supports you. Call 393-9161 for all your construction needs. Support your community. Switch to TDS. Pair fast internet with strong Wi-Fi for the ultimate online experience. Choose from speeds starting at 300 meg all the way up to 1 gig. Plus, blanket every corner of your home with TDS Wi-Fi Plus. Trust TDS to provide you with the best services at the best prices. Just ask our customers who are voting us best internet provider in many of the communities we serve. Visit hellotds.com to learn more. Internet speeds are up to and not guaranteed. Subject to availability. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Forest Tire cares about your time. You tackle an endless to-do list every day. It may seem like a thankless job, but you know better. It's the little things that matter most. That's why you'll appreciate the enduring value of the Michelin Defender Tire. Designed for doers like you, Michelin's longest lasting tire keeps you on the go longer, so you have one less thing to worry about on your next road trip. Stop in today for miles of uncompromised safety and performance. Forest Tire, keeping you rolling since 1944. And welcome back to the Lovington and Hobbs softball postgame report. The Lovington Lady Cats falling to the Hobbs Lady Eagles today, 3-1. to one. And with the wrap, Dawn Morgan. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, 3-1, to one, your final score here as it really went down to the wire. And it was exciting as Lovington had chances all the way through this game. They scored the one run, but they had 10 hits in this game. They left 10 people on base, and they committed two errors. And uh, both of those errors really were were costly errors in the field as well as a couple of base running errors that might have robbed them of the two runs that they needed to tie this thing up but Lovington uh, committed the two errors Hobbs had three runs on three hits they left seven on base and committed one error in the game so still a, a pretty well played game uh, for, you know on, on both ends of this but Lovington uh, just not doing enough they got runners on but didn't have timely hitting couldn't bring them in and so Hobbs uh, did what they needed to do they got out there they did their job the uh, winning pitcher was um, uh, uh, was uh, Chavarria, who was ahead. Treviso went in relief of her, but uh, Teresa Hobbs, will get the save. Yep, Teresa gets the save, and uh, Udahara will be your losing pitcher. 
and Sanchez came in relief of her. But uh, Udahada had a couple of strikeouts and a couple of walks. And then Sanchez ended up with, I think, four or maybe five strikeouts. I think I didn't write that fifth one down. Sanchez did finish five. up with five. Uh -huh, yeah. Five, that's right. And uh, so really a pretty well-played game. It was exciting, low scoring. I mean, both teams um, holding each other. And uh, this was uh, a well, you know, this was a, a loss. But Lovington, you know, can look at this and maybe take some lessons from it as they're going to play another 5A team on Tuesday in, uh, when they meet Carlsbad here at Wildcat Field. So a good chance to stay at home for a while and have some home games here on their field and a good chance to play against uh, bigger, uh, b higher quali qualification or division teams and uh, just try to sharpen up. We're not that far away from the start of district for either of those two teams. So Hobbs getting a chance to come in and uh, work things out as well. And they scored their second win over Lovington in the season and move on. And uh, Hobbs will be in action tomorrow on their own field. That game starts at 1 o'clock. They'll play uh, a new Lubbock High School. They'll play Liberty. And we will have that game for you on Hobbs Sports YouTube and HobbsAmerica.com. Actually, it'll be on Lee County News and Sports uh, tomorrow. Okay, Hobbs because there's Hobbs header. Baseball. That's right. Just as I said that, that's true. I, and you looked around, I thought, wait a minute, I, I do remember that. And I think that. I said Hobbs and Sports YouTube earlier. Yeah. It'll be on Lee County News and Sports Lee YouTube. Lee County News and Sports YouTube for the Hobbs Girls game. The Hobbs Boys will be on Hobbs Sports YouTube. They are playing a doubleheader against Oregon Mountain with those games, I think, at 1-3 and three tomorrow. Uh, yes. I think they were at 1-3. and three. More and like 1-4 and four, the way it <laughs> probably. usually works. But the Hobbs Girls game is at 1, so we should have pregame starting about 10, 15 minutes before 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Congratulations to the Lady Eagles, and, of course, uh, good luck to the Lovington Girls as they have another home game coming up to Tuesday night, and we'll be here for that. And that's going to be on uh, Lee County News and Sports YouTube as well because Lovington boys are playing Tuesday night and that double header just uh, a little ways uh, to our south. So I'm Don Morgan. We're going to wrap things up. And thank you very much to um, our crew at the station, Evie, Tiff Stuber. Tiff and Evie keeping Tiff an eye Evie. on things and All right, fixing thank you. some things that somebody messed up in the middle of the game okay. on the on-air side of things. But, yeah, okay, I'm, and, I'm over it now. And, and then, uh, thank you, and uh, TJ Miracle, of course, uh, helping uh, out on this game as well. Thank you. And thank you for watching and listening. This has been Lovington and Hobbs Softball on Lovington Sports YouTube, Hobbs Sports YouTube, and HobbsAmerica.com. Good evening.